Let's go, baby! Let's go, let's go, let's go! It's a little bit late, but we are here. We're just waiting for uh, a couple of people said they're on the way home, so I thought, might as well wait. But we are ready to rock and roll. I have one space for a supporter. Hashtag supporter in the chat first in. We will probably go straight off the rip. So we've got about five minutes and then we will go. So hashtag supporter in the chat if you would like to join. And uh, first time clears, please, if we can. And uh, we will knock these out. It will hopefully knock it out fairly quick. Still ironing out the, uh, the speed of it, especially when teaching. But uh, we are slowly getting there, slowly getting there. And if you ask, I'm a little bit sick and I'm very, very bloody tired. But we will get there. We will get there. I've pushed myself pretty bloody crazy. Now, you need to be a either A, a Facebook supporter or B, a patron. If you are not haven't got your Facebook supporter badge on, there's no way for me to tell if you're a supporter or not. And if you are a patron, if you do win, you need to message me from your patron. Um, uh, message me on the Patreon app because I cannot tell because most people don't use their real names so it's kind of hard to tell who's who but hashtag supporter in the chat must be a supporter first week is all about supporters then we go open it up to everybody and I'll start booking it in um, so if you if you're interested in the clear and you're not a supporter don't think you have to become a supporter shoot me a message and we'll get going nap what's good Ben what's good Cody Mr. Santa nap down Jono what's good my man how's things Mark what's good Dom, what's good, what's good, Connor, what's good, hey Louis, what's good my man, how's things, Craig, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you, bro. <laughs> snag this fam, yo, let's go, alright, I'm just pulling the rest of me chat over, give it a few minutes, but hashtag supporter in the chat, if you're a supporter and you do not have a clear, now is your chance, please, like, I'm going to say this and this is going to sound like a terrible thing to say, but I don't want people supporting just to get a raid clear, right? I want you to support, to support what I do. Yes, yeah? so that's, that's, that's more important to me. I, I, I just feel that if you're just going to support just to get a raid clear, I just, I do it for free, man. I do. Like if just be patient, but I, I want supporters to support because they want to support what we're trying to do here. And that's help guardians become better players and to try and teach people so they can raid and, go on and, and you know, go off and make their own teams or whatever else. Like that's, that's the goal. Right? That's always been my goal. That's why I started doing what I do. Um, you know, I'm blessed that I get to do this as a full-time job. It never was intentional to do as a full-time job. And I just had the right people supporting me to do it and, you know, pushing me and telling me that I needed to do it full-time. And then I have you wonderful people that support to be able to, to do it. So, um, you know, I, I don't, I'm here. I don't ask for money. I don't charge people money. Um, you know, I just expect people to turn up, support what we do and just keep, keep, uh, keep smashing it out and keep building this community that we're making. So, um, but yeah, make sure you support for the right reasons, please. I, I just, I just don't want people to get it. Uh, uh, yeah. The wrong expectations. Um, we've got what 200 and something Facebook supporters and there's like 40, 50 odd patrons. So, um, there's a fair few supporters there to get through. Um, but first and best dress, so hashtag supporter in the chat. Let's get it and we'll go. Go, go, go. Hey, Zach, what's good, my man? Kyle, what's good? Appreciate the 100, my man. Jo yeah, Johan, appreciate the 100 as well. Let's go. Hey, Connor, let's go. So you just got taught me to elevate. Nice headshot. That's good. Great community. Appreciate it, bro. I'm slowly getting there, man. I want to... I'm, I'm, this this next six months, I really want to focus. I'm going to put... The next little bit, I'm focusing on making the clan better than what it is and making it more unified. And then uh, I'm going to start working on some other stuff as well. Oh, Zach, I'd like to say two, bro, but I'm just on time, man. Hey, Dill, what's good? I support to pay for your batteries. Hashtag bot life. Hey, I need fucking batteries, man. The amount that I don't sleep. But uh, right, right, let's draw this uh, who's winning and uh, let's get it going. So hashtag supporter. Um, let's get that now. I'll just do it. So I use the Nox bot to, to do the, the winner. And uh, we'll see how we... How we go with it once it's loaded. Come on. Being a bit temperamental today. Mr. Supporter. Uh, get entry it says currently. Well, let's see who's in. Eight people that entered. So I have Ben. I'm not going to enter anymore. Ben, Naptown, Connor, uh, Jono, Craig, Cody, Jonathan, and Song. And uh, let's see. 
So you, you need to be a supporter, guys. So just just remember that. And it's not it's not as I said, it's not because I want you guys to pay. It's because it's just about making sure I say thank you to the guys that are supporting, so I can continue to keep doing what I do. And the winner is Nap, my man. Let's go. Nap Town is up. Now's your chance, Nap. Now's your chance. Let me guess. Are you even on? You have it clear? Nice. Okay, you couldn't wait for me, I know. Hey, Ben, boy, what's the way? by the way, what's good? Derek, what's good? Um, Angus, son. Nice, Derek. What's good, brother? What's good? Hey, A's. What's good? What's good? What's good? So, Nap, are you on? Are you ready to rock and roll? Alexis, appreciate the support as well. And uh, Ben, appreciate the support. There was one other one I seen pop as well. Um... Can't quite see who it is. You're on. Sweet. Let's go. Supporters equals people that watch and follow. Um, no, supporters are the people, the monetary supporters, Lucan. Um, I I never charge anything. So supporters allow me to continue to do this full time and help as many people as I do. So I need to give back to those guys. I never ask for anything in return. Um, but, but basically what I do usually, man, is I book people in and I also pull people from chat on the daily for all sorts, not just raids, everything. So um, the more you're in, uh, so if you exclamation point, um, exclamation point, um, seek fam in the chat, you can gain in stream currency as well. I use that so people can purchase a raid clear as well. Um, using the in-game currency or the in-stream currency. And um, so that's the way, as I said, I, don't message me. People message me all the time and offer me money and say, hey, can I get a rate I need it today. I, I, the answers are firm, no, uh, I don't charge. So I do what I do for free. But I, as I said, I have so many supporters and I can do what I do because of the supporters. So I, 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 every time there's a new rate, I always try and give back to the supporters when I can. Appreciate you, Derek, man, my man. Right, let's get this raid on the road so we can try and get a second one and possibly if, if it's not a uh, vow, we'll do so. Uh, not a uh, king's fall, we'll get something else. Nap, what's good? What's good? What is good, brother? What is good? Ready to rock, mate? Double Sherp. Let's go, Matt. Always giving back King Seek. I ah, wouldn't go that far. Appreciate you, brother. How's today? I went to Oakley's, uh, my son, for anyone that's in the chat that's not, doesn't know my family, Oakley, we're going to take him through for his first clear on Friday. And uh, he's probably my biggest supporter. He supports me with his love. But um, he's um, he's absolutely just breaks my heart. I shouldn't say breaks my heart, but melts my heart. I went to, to his daycare today and there's a picture. He draws a picture. It's Father's Day this weekend here in Australia. And we had a Father's Day breakfast this morning. And he's got a picture thing up there. And it's got a, a bit about dad. And it's got my name and everything about me. And what do you love about your dad? And he goes, I love that my dad plays the shooting game with me. I was like, oh, buddy. I kind of felt happy and sad at the same time that he put that on there. But then I look at the kid next door and the one next to it. And it says, I'm happy my dad lets me use my iPad. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my kid's at least winning at life. <laughs> uh, show you my type in so you can recraft it. Uh, you're at the table right now. So this is this is the juice. This is the best. So you want firing line? Don't use enhanced. It's a waste of money. Triple tap enhanced, enhanced battery, fluted barrel. And I think just if you look at the statistics there, I think I put range on it. I can't remember. It could be reload. I'm not sure. Um, the ship still drop. I'm not 100% on Lexus. I haven't seen a ship drop. Appreciate you, Derek, by the way, too. And uh, appreciate you, Kyle. It's Sunday. This Sunday is Father's Day for us here in Australia. So we'll, we'll, we'll celebrate in style. I'm, I'm hoping that we can maybe get Indian for a raid or something, but we'll see how we go. Um, Righto. Uh, nap come my site. And uh, we'll go Nap and A's. Santa, Gyps, and uh, Toro go right. Um, so basically what's going to happen here, um, there's a relic. This is what they look like. And we have a right relic holder and a left relic holder. And we have to deposit them in this little, in these six statues. Right here. Yeah, so there's a bubble in front of this door. There's a bubble in front of that door. And a bubble in the... You're really hard to hear, Nat, by the way. Um, I'd, I'd just say rock, like something to add clear. You just want lots of add clear. I'm using a shotgun, an SMG, and a sword. Um, 
but you, so so if you were doing this with experience you'd have two runners and one ad clear so you could do it quicker but we'll just do two ad clears and one runner so i'll run on on our side um nap and you and a's can add clear and actually a's you run and i'll add clear and uh gyps toro and sando who's going to run on your side i can't even okay so gyps and a's will run so just switch yeah, you're good. We just got to make sure we kill all the ads, and we got to make sure the doors are open. So the guys have got to pick the uh, buffs up. If you're doing one runner, uh, when you get to the last two, um, you might want to just drop the pick it up the buff or the relic, and then drop it again and let it run out of timer, and then pick it up again to reset the timer. So basically, when they deposit the relic, the timer starts on the next one, and that's where having two runners is beneficial um, because you can you don't have to wait around there, and you just keep coming and coming. Um, so if you were doing it with a full experience team, that's how you do it. But with this learning, it's easier just to sort of nap if you want to just follow A's and just sort of shadow her so you see where all the relics are. And then I'll, I'll make sure the ads are clear. Shippers Master Challenge Rue. Thanks for that, Michael. Hey, Nick. Two years of following, my man. GG's, brother. Range or reload on the Masterwork. Look, it doesn't... Ve you've, I, you don't reload very often, Matt. So I would say probably, I think I went range, bro. But that's why that's why the um, the firing line enhanced is not worth it, chat. So if you're if you're crafting any weapons, just while we're waiting on Ace to come, if you're crafting any weapons, you you really don't just put an enhanced perk on because you think it's better. Because a lot of the time, those enhanced perks really don't offer you much benefit. Like for example, firing line enhanced, it's it's not giving you any additional damage or anything like that. It's giving you additional range and it's not even a huge range bump and you really don't yeah. need the range. So there's only a few encounters in all of destiny. You really need the range on the linear. So for me to, to justify it and you would then probably use a different linear, um, if you were doing the range anyway. So don't bother just craft it as it is there and you'd be Gucci. You're ready for it to be re-enabled. I don't know. It got disabled because of the grenade launch, but yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, Connor. GG's, brother. GG's. Hey, bro. What's good? I got this done yesterday. A bit different to D1, but ultimately the same rate. Wayne, pretty much the same rate, yeah. I think after this week, it'll be pretty simple once everyone's all over the mechanics. I know. You waiting on transfers, days? Eh? Or not? No, she had um, a hand. Yeah, uh, I kind of cut my hands so I'm trying to bandage uh, it up. Sorry, I'll be in a minute. You cut your hand? The fuck did you cut your hand? I was opening a can of tomatoes and the thing didn't open, so I used okay. the can opener and lifted it up and it kind of cut. Are you okay? Yeah, it's only small, but it bleeds a bit. Yeah, well, fuck it. <laughs> it would feel like with the jersey on this in eSport <laughs> stream as yeah, my chookies I don't know man I, I wanted to do a footy jumper when I um when I uh when I first done my look my merch but um to get them uh to get them done properly oh man so expensive like ridiculously expensive so I was just like yeah no nah, don't even worry about it so just to get the mock-ups was like in the thousands I was just like nah I'm good I'm good. But don't forget exclamation point seek fam in the chat and uh, that'll get you the coins. And if you guys are after raid clears and you're not supporters, please don't feel left out. Um, shoot me a message, exclamation point raid in the chat. You'll get a messenger link and you can jump on in and shoot me a message. We'll talk about times. I will be pulling people from chat as well, but I will be booking people in um, starting from next week. So um, that way then we can work out times and stuff that work for us. I do stream day and night, so I do both. And uh, of late, I've been pushing myself too too long. <laughs> so I probably need to cut that out a little bit, but we'll get there. Right, everyone good? Nap, you good? Are you yeah. I'm running? Yeah, you're running. Okay. Now let's go. Ready? I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to reload. Wait, wait. 
<laughs> Exclamation point point, Zach. Yeah. I lost mine. I pressed reload and it dunked it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you do Ready? Yep. Ready? Okay. Yep. Three, two, one. Ready? Two seconds. Yep. All right, picking up. No, I'm not. Jeez. Oh, shoot. I picked up. So, I got it. No, I'm not. I hate that one. Um, just drop it and reset. Yep. yep. Hang on, I'll take off heat rising. Oh yeah, yuck. How would you hate that sword? I can't stand it. <laughs> You gotta jump across and grab that so when you jump, button. just yeah. jump and don't grab your A button again, otherwise you'll drop like a sack of shit. So you sort of slight yeah. glide across, so you <laughs> get momentum. Yeah. Alright, ready? Was uh, like 10 seconds. Was the same in yeah. D1. You can be a ways away from it too. I, when we were standing up there, like if this was it, I was like right here and it said still pick it up. So I think if you jump higher, you can still right. grab it. Alright, let's go. Right. Yep. Nope. No. Alright. Sorry. Yeah. Some time. Because <laughs> it, it deletes your jump right when you. Yeah. Grab. So I think try jumping higher. See where it, see where the threshold is. Yeah. So when you're jumping to it, I'll show you. So when you're jumping to it, Chad, if you're doing this one, especially if you're on a wall, I'll jump and slide and then grab it and you get your momentum. Otherwise, you'll just keep dying. Yeah. You don't try and stop at it. You've got to jump past it and glide past it and grab. Oh, you should be good to pick up again. Ready? Yep. Hope I don't die, okay. Oh, I'm too high. Did no, Brian, know? they didn't, bro. Uh, me and Gyps run it in D1, oh, but um, on. no, I've only no, been running no. with A's. I've only been running with A's since <laughs> since uh, D2 started. Sort of garden days. Yeah. Um, yeah, halfway through garden or so. Yeah, just if like that wasn't there, you would have made that gyps. I know. <laughs> just denied you. That meant or nothing when you're holding it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, ready? Good morning, person. Hey, gyps. Uh, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Sorry. Seek family, you learn how to you learn how to jump at the same time. <laughs> Got it. Hey. Open. No, I don't. <laughs> I got booted. <laughs> Can someone else? <laughs> this is still 50 seconds left. Uh, let's see here. See, I was way away from it there. Right. Hey, we're looking. I'm right behind Jays. Yep. I see ya. Alright, three, three, two, two one. Okay. one. I don't know, Jits first time I tried to grab that one, I kept falling my death. That was a bunch of bull. I was watching it. That was a bunch of horse. <laughs> Ready? Um, one sec. Gotta get to the next one. Yep. Alright, three, two, and go. Two, one, go. The next few ones are this the further in, aren't they, Zeke? Yep. Yeah, you're probably better off getting the shortcut, too. The shortcut? Yeah, I'll show it to you on the next one. Thank you. Ready? One sec. 
got to find it. There it is. Yep. You pick, you pro probably pick it up and drop it again, depending on the timer. Nah, just run with it. He's a good. Okay. Oh, oh, I can't jump over that. Sorry, Ace. Hey, you're right. Wait till the timer runs out again. Yeah. Right, back. Don't go that way. Go the go the go the other way, because then you're running away from the ads. Still got a minute if you got it. Yeah, still got a minute. I'll go and get it. Now, can you revive Ace? I'm already spawned. I'm getting the door for you. Yeah, sweet. I'll wait down. So what I mean, Chad, is go this way, because then that way, then you don't have to contend with those ads on the corner. Alright, go. And the shortcut's this way. So you jump straight through the front and then over the swing. can nah, run. Fine. Nah, if you can run, you'll make it. Nah. It's a long run for me. Oh shit, the bastard just knocked me off. Drop bastard. It. Yeah, yeah. It only takes you 20 seconds to get there. So you, if as long as they're both of you hit, if you both are going at the same time, you should still make it. I mean, that's if you use a relic skating. Wait for it to run out and then pick it back up. You gotta open the door, I'm inside still. Uh, Toro. I gotta open the door. Shoot the light in the middle. Uh, okay, then. Gotcha. Uh, I got a minute. Oh, I'm shooting him. this side. Yeah. I can get him. I'm on. Bad. Good. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Heaps four. of time. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, it just, it shaves heaps of time off, that's all. If you don't miss it, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Those shield boopers weren't letting me come through the door. There's like Are you there, uh, Gyps, or no? No, not yet. Pick your, yeah. just pick your relic up and just drop it. I'll reset the timer, please. So if you're running short on time, guys, if you just pick it up and drop it, let the timer run out, and then pick it up again, you'll get full time. I'll pick this one up, Ace. So basically, when I picked it up, then I only had 20 seconds. So if you pick it up, drop it, and then it'll reset your timer. Ready? Ooh, I was ready. Hold on. Three, two, one. Grab it. So now you get a minute. And this is the last one, so... Cheat. Yeah, boop. If you don't know about relic skating, if you just jump, swipe, jump, swipe, jump, swipe, jump, swipe, jump, swipe, you move faster. Ready. That's cool. 
Alright, done. Alright, I'll get used to that chest today. Right, so three dots and one dot. Uh, this is yeah, that's easy and lost one again. Yep. So let me find my list. That one's totems, isn't it? Is that the same one that we had last night? Yeah. Alright, three dots is War Priest. After making your way through Gol uh, Golgrun's Maze, the next circle is inside the walls of the final hole. Yeah, that's that one. Yep. And then Totems, and then... Boss, boss, you say. Yeah, that very top one is the boss one. Is the boss one, yeah. Sweet. Easy dubs. I used, to, uh, I used to be good at this raid once way back in the day. Memories. It's a great raid. It's a, it's a great raid, um... Clint, but um, I will be I will be running this tonight. I'll be running it every every night, pretty much this week and next week, and then I'll probably throw in a garden or two, and maybe a few other raids possibly. But um, yeah, pr pr prim primarily going to be doing King's Fall for the next little bit, just to try and get all the loot and everything. And. Um, but if you after if you're after other raids and stuff, still shoot me a message and we'll work it out. Oh, who do I don't know that? I did. I'm gonna wait at the ship and then I've gotta put another bit in, so I'll be back in a few. Hey, have I told you that you're a dickhead? Oh, <laughs> Fucking cutting your hand. Right on your heels. It, it wasn't my fault. The, it's got one of those pull open rings. But for some reason, it didn't work, so I used the can opener, and as I was lifting the lid, yeah. <laughs> Not the smartest, but it wasn't my fault. Just don't jump on yet. Just wait. Everyone just wait. Wait for Nap and Toro. One raid from D1 oh, I never got done. Matt, it's, 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 it's hard, man. Some people will say that Wrath of Machines the best, and some people will say this is the best. I think they were both really, really good raids. I really liked this raid. I didn't do Wrath very much, um, very much. Not, not saying that I did this raid very much, but the few times that I did do it, I really enjoyed this raid. Um, but, um, and then Wrath, I think Wrath, we just had some really shitty teams and was just fucking always brutal. That boss encounter is, 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 uh, is a pitch. But, um, I think, I think, Probably if we get Wrath back, it'll probably be one of the worst boss encounters, I think, if they do it similar to the last one. But, um... I loved Wrath. Wrath was good. Yeah. As I said, I thought it was a great, well well, well done um, raid. I think both of them are equally as good as each other. Um, but, yes, yeah, it's, it's good to have it back. I just feel as though that they... I think they could have made it a little bit harder on normal mode. It's still long, but I feel as though the, the mechanics are not that tough to learn. It's just the damage and the survivability part. Right, it's cool. Look, you're gonna have to jump. <laughs> I think we're waiting for Aze. Oh, she's nah, she can come after. Yeah, she knows. She knows where she's going. You didn't get that email to say how many times she cleared it in D1. Yep. <laughs> how many did you clear? Uh, Thirty something. Oh fucking seriously? I mine was six, I think. <laughs> yeah, mine was pretty low. <laughs> I didn't raid in D1 very much. Like legit, I I, I did not raid at all. Like. Like, I mean, I didn't raid in D2 until Garden, really. This is the only part I got to on this raid, and I quit. I got tired of dying. Just follow me, and just wait until the last second to jump, and you should be good. And don't panic. And as much as you want to pull your sword out, jump to the next one over here. As much as you want to pull your sword out and swipe, don't, because you'll go flying over the plate. Here next, and then once we land there, there's another one spawning right next to us again. So up here, and then straight away just here. So just there, and then this one you got to ride all the way to the very end, come to the very front, and there's going to be one going from there that way. You got, you got to jump up, right? Huh? Yeah, you got to. This is a long. This is a long jump. It's straight over this way. I remember one directly underneath us at one point as well. Right, all the way. This is the, this is one of the hard jumps. Right, so stand at the back here, and you can just crouch under the next one, or you can jump over it. Hey Taylor, what's good? KG, look at this D1 raid, yo. Yeah, so this one here, you can either jump onto it or just ride it out, and then you want, we want to jump on that one there.
And then the next one's this way, and it's going back that way. Gee, you can almost memorize already. I had it memorized on the first day because it's the same, the exact same. I didn't change it at all. <clears throat> next one's going back this way. Yeah, this is the farthest I ever made on D1. And then this is this one here. You got a whole light roll it right it to the very end, and the next one's going to spawn over there, and it's heading up that way. So the, the plate will almost disappear. The ship will almost disappear before the next one spawns. And this is the last one. Congratulations. Drum roll. My first time ever making it this far. Hey, first time for everything. Gyps is on a plate. Um, Santa, are you up? Uh, just about... I'll just wait here. Yep. Oh, no, it didn't mantle. That's right. Toro, jump on that plate over there. I'll take Nat with me first, and then I'll get you. You can go come across the Gyps. All right, Nat, come with me. I'll jump. Toro, once I get up there. Jump up. Toro, go across. How long do I stay on this plate for? Just stay on it? Stay on it, yeah. So... We're gonna sort of land just over there now, and then we're gonna go up there to that little hole up there. And then there's a chest, there's a chest in there, but don't grab it straight away. Just wait. Hey, Marcus, what's good, bro? That's the I had problems with the spies that jump from the small platform. Cliff, if you had problems on this one, you wait until a dick wall. Right, jump now. The dick wall jumping puzzle is by far <laughs> the funniest one, and then just. Just be careful coming up here now, just because there's little lips that knock you off. Yeah. So as you're walking up, slow down and then go past it. Otherwise, you'll fall off here. Yeah. And then just keep all going all the way. And then up into the hole. Go so the sh the plates over there keep the door open and keep this door open so we can come in. Right, you can get off. Right, nap. Grab this. I don't think I yeah. think I. Yeah, grab the chest. I think I already got it on this character. Yeah, I did. Grab the chest and then follow me. Another bond. Right over this way. Kind of good stand on this corner, Toro. Right, come back over this way. Stand on that plate just there now for me. So we stand on these plates here to open it for the others now. Oh, well, like, make it. <laughs> and now they can get through. Now we just stay until everyone gets across. So if you've already got the chest snap, you can just come through on that ship there and it just comes straight through the wall that you don't have to go up to the side. So if it's like, yeah, if it's a non-looted clear, you wouldn't go up that way. You gotta stand on those um those platforms to make it to make it go. Is that right? Yeah. Little trains go. Yeah. Yeah, and keep platforms. the keep the door open for everyone. Everyone's here. Yeah, <clears throat> hey, Johnny, in with a hundred. Let's go. Um, so for this one here, you want Gallahorn, Gallahorn or Zeno, whichever you're comfortable with. Um, you want probably a shotgun or a fusion. I personally like a shotgun, and you want a um, 
You want a uh, auto rifle or a subby? I'm getting my out. Let's put Gally on. They're vaulting the Goss. Uh, I don't think they are, Cage. Well, they haven't said anything. They no, actually, they said they're not vaulting any more content in the uh, in the no, Lightfall no, release. Right, just, just don't shoot, otherwise you'll start it. Is this a war priest? Nah, nah. This is um, totems. Totems are. That's fine. Yeah. Might run survival abilities. So is there a chest in totems too? Or yeah, there's a chest for totems. Yep, yeah. it's just for every encounter. Righto, um, Nap, I'll get you to come to the right-hand side with me and Santa. Okay. Toro, I'll get you to go left with the girls. So there's two two ways you can run this. If someone's struggling, you can do it two-man, and you just leave one person to add clear. But um, basically, it's a relay race. It's very different than D1. They've changed it, a, 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 not heaps, but it's changed it enough for it to be a, a bit different. You will need uh, Unstoppable if you can. Because uh, there is an unstoppable champion. Chad, if you want a good uh, fifteen fifty, fifteen fifty, Clint. Um, but if you want a good roll for this AR, if it's a new one. It's another one of the free ones you get. Um, give this a crack. I haven't quite. I'm, I'm still playing around with it, but I'm really enjoying this roll. Adaptive munitions and turnabouts. So a turnabout. You, using this weapon to break the shield of a combatant or a guardian using super will grant you an overshield. Um, and I've got armor piercing and fluted barrel on it and the minor spec. But yeah, the adaptive munitions adapts its bullets to suit the shields. So when you break those shields, you get an overshield. So it's just a little thing. and it, It's actually going all right. I was using it in day one and um, I don't mind it. So something something for you guys to have a look at and play around with. If you've got a role that you think's better, let me know. But I'm, I'm actually enjoying using it. It's not a bad feeling AR at the moment. Um, right oh, guy has triple tap and tap the trigger. What's this for? Yep. Just so you'll give me crap for what I put in hands front line. You're a rich man. Incandescent. Yeah, I've got lots of incandescent weapons, um, Cody. So I kind of didn't want to be predictable and put incandescent on it. Um, because I have got my mini tool and I've got, I've got a few other guns with incandescent on it. So, um, I wanted to just try something a little bit different and I didn't have a lot with adaptive munitions. So I'm thinking more so GMs and stuff. So it's so far I'm liking it and it's good. Nice. Yeah. Just crafted armor. Nice Johnny. Hey Harvey, what's good? I'll get first this one. Is. Um, righto. So what's going to happen here? Um, nap and Toro, where are you? Come, come down to the middle for a second to where I'm standing. Just don't shoot anything. Alright, so if you look here to the right, there's a little orb there. So that's the that's the buff we need at the plates, right? So there's one left and one right. So someone takes that buff and they go and stand out at the plates out there. Right? You gotta stay on the plate. And then there's gonna be an, a wizard and a knight spawn up above the doorway there. Now this is the part that people struggle with, and everyone that I've seen struggle here is those wizards and knights need to die straight away. Um, shotgun I'm using is a one shot for the wizard and a two shot for the uh, for the knight in some cases. Just depends on if I proc it or not. Um, but three shots max, so it's quick, right? You want to kill them quick as possible, and then don't rush off until you're 100% sure you grab the buff. The buff spawns in the middle of the plate, and it's called Brand Re something. I can't remember the name Wait, of it. Is it? Reclaimer. Right, that's it. Brand Brand Reclaimer. Right, and then you've got to run that buff there out to the person standing on the plate. Now the person on the plate's got a timer on their buff. If that timer hits zero, they die. So what? It's a relay race, right? So if say for example, Nap's on the plate and I've got the buff here, the reclaimer buff, and I'm running towards him, Nap's got to be counting down five, four, and I'll say, right, meet me, meet me, meet me. And Nap can run to me. We can meet halfway, and heat Nap keeps running, and I go back to the plate. So you got about oh, I didn't time it, but it's a good seven seconds to get back to the plate, right? Stand on the plate, you kill it, kill ads. Now, when you're on the plate, and this is something that is, it's up to the individuals running it, but when you've got an experience, it's probably the best way to run it, is you don't want to get too high of a death singers because the higher you have, so when you're standing on the plate out there with your buff and you're killing ads, you gain, you gain death singers, right? And when you come to the middle, you have to stand on this middle plate to get rid of your death singers. Now, the death singers have to be zero for you to be able to pick up the brand reclaim. 
So you need to make sure 100% that you have zero decimal. It's like you can't say the word decimal on your screen at all. All right, it might not say times two. It might just say decimal, which means you have one stack still. So you can't you can't pick up a buff. So you got to make sure it says nothing. Um, the longer or the more decimal you have, the longer it takes to clear your buff, which then slows down the relay. Right. So it's kind it's of a standing on this plate, is it? Correct. Yeah. So it's catch twenty two. Like if you get too many, it takes longer here. And if you don't get enough, then it takes a while. So you, I, I've sort of gathered that around that 10 to 15 is the sort of happy, sweet medium of it sort of being, keeping the mom, the momentum flowing, if you know what I mean. Now, if someone dies at the plate, someone needs to take that buff there. Anyone can stand on the plate to keep it active, right? But that buff there needs to go out for us to continue the mom, the the um the progress, right? So the taken guy, if the taken guy goes out there and stands at the plate, let's say that Nap transfers with you and he's got death singers and he dies it's fine we just lose the death singers right someone just grabs to take and come back out but if if nap's standing at the plate and dies and he hasn't had the buff transferred we need to pick the buff back up there and take it out right as quickly as possible so it's 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 speed but it's also making sure that you're as an individual doing as much as you can i run a galahorn just to just fire shit and get rid of stuff um, but you can run realistically, run whatever you want to run here in the way of ad clear. Why do you, just want ad clear. Why do you have to kill the wizard straight away? Does wizard, that, um, the wizard allow? straight away because otherwise the knight won't spawn. Okay. So your wizard you spawn. Knight, what does that do? The knight gives you the buff, the brand reclaimer. The taken knight and it's up on top of the thing. So the wizard spawns in the doorway there, and then the the taken knight spawns there, straight away. Spawns where? Sorry, up at the doorways. Up, up in up in the doorways up there to the up to the side up there. I can't shoot because because it's there. So, so what's going to happen is um, Gypsy's going to go first on your side, Toro, and then you're going to be the sandwich in between her and Aze. So Aze will help you to, to sort of learn it. Um, so I'm going to send Santa out first, Nap. I kind of remember it. And then I'll, I'll help you, and you're going to grab the buff and go down to Santa, okay? It's about communicating with each other, right? You just got to make sure that those timers are good and you're just killing ads. The night's right here, Nap. Yeah, you, you're going out first, Santa. So, is each right. side basically mirrored, left and right? Yeah, no, they're different. Really? Your side, that side, there's the easier side. This one's got more ads. Three, two, one, let's go. So, set, Santa, uh, nap straight up to where I am, and we're gonna kill this wizard straight away, and then the knight spawns. We kill this knight, and then you're gonna pick the buff up. Now, the thing you gotta remember is the buff always spawns here in the center. So, grab that and go to, to Santa. You want me to pick that up? Yep, pick it up. Run out to Gypsy. Now the fun fact that you is this wizard doesn't spawn again until they have met. Alright, you can take it. Two, one, press X, press X. Gotcha. Yep. Stand on the plate. I'm going to stand on the, on the plate. Gotcha. Sand, so Sandra's gonna stand on the plate. Right, uh, what's your timer now? Uh, uh, 15, 14, 13. Okay, 12, good. 11, what? Okay. I know. Santa, right. don't grab the buff. Come to me with the other buff, please. Right. Time for it. Four, three, two, go. one, up. Oh. Nap, go back to the middle. Grab it and stay here. Down. Let's go. Let's go. Nap. Come, 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 come. Grab this and go to Santa quick. Time. Run into you. Uh, four, three, two, one. You gotta be quick. Oh, you weren't quick. Alright, just wipe. Just wipe. Too many deaths. What character are you running that? Warlock. Put a well on, bro. Yep. Well well in a healing rift, bro. Just some survivability. If you if you gotta kill That's the it. ads. Just run some repeat what we've just done. Pretty much, yeah. As I said, the, the, the only thing yeah, you're going to struggle here, well, the only thing yeah. you're going to struggle here is the survivability and not being quick enough to kill those knights. And that's that's any time we've struggled here is those are the things that happen. Like you, you, you shouldn't you shouldn't be dying. Chuck on sniper resistance or or concussive dampener. Make sure you have got those things on. But you really want to take the boomers out straight away. And any knights, the knights will come around from behind you as well. So you've got to stay actively looking for all of the uh, all of the knights because the knights are the only real things that are going to hurt. Uh, KG, there is a couple of good ones. The, the, the sniper and the touch of malice is, is, is apparently really good now. 
um, better than it was in D1. Um, and then the LMG and the Scouts, not too bad as well. As I said, I haven't had a good chance to play with rolls and stuff yet, but I, I think there'll be some good ones. Um, Taylor, this is the arm at the, the one you can craft, craft at the moment. So it's not a bad one. Right, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So one shotgun, done. And then the knight spawns, get rid of the knight. There you go, pick it up, go. You might sure to grab that. Yep. Rather than running that way, Tori, just jump off the edge. Five. Three. Two. It just cuts down the time, doesn't it? What's your timer at? Set on a nap down? 15. 15? Yeah, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, go back to the middle, bro. Run, run to the middle. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. 20 seconds, Santa. Nap, work on killing that knight. You've got plenty of time, so don't rush. Kill the knight. Once your death singer's a zero, make sure your death singer's a zero, mate. Grab it, Santa. My job. Go. Bring the buff to Santa, bro. Bring the buff to Santa. Seven, six, five. You, you got to stand on the middle three, plate, bro. You got to get rid of your death singers, bro. Sorry, I pick up. No, you can't pick it up. If you've got death singers, you need to stand on this plate here, Nap. Nap, you got to stand on this plate here. Watch your timer, Sant. Run to me, run to me. Five, run, 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 run. I'm stopped up. Oh, got it. You got chips. What's your timer? Yeah, five, four, three, two. Got there. Nap, you've got to go back and get the buff, bro. I'm only. How are you going, Sandy? Are you going to make it to me or not? Uh, I'm just going. I've got nine time. seconds. I'm running to you, I'm running to you now. Four, three, two, grab it. Nap, you gotta go back, Nap, bro. You gotta kill the buff, bro. Okay. Wow, this battery's are low. Ah. You're not working, you're not working with us, you're working as your own individual, bro. You gotta grab this buff and take it to Santa straight away. Alright, go grab that buff and go to Santa. Is you, have you got Death Singer zero? Yeah, so. Run towards him, Santa. Five, four, three, two, one. What's your time, Dips? What's your time? Uh, yep. Unstoppable. Twenty, you want it? Yeah. Nine, eight, seven, six. I just take it. Go. Go now. Going towards the middle of the My death singer is actually too. Gotta get rid of the death singers, correct, yeah. Got he heaps of time, Sam. Yeah, you're good. Grab it as soon as you get here, though, and I'll go. Time to turn. Five, four, two. I'm on death singer now. Unstops up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, take it. Thank you. Five, four, three, two. Yep. Timer. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine. Go. Five. Yeah, Gadgets. Got a few coming down. Door's gonna be open. Yep. GG's, well done. Not easy. Yeah, so Nat, 
you get that now, yeah? You've got to stay as yourself. You can't run yeah. with everyone else. You, your uh, thing's back here, bro. Oi, nap. Come back and get your loot. Santa, you're still lit up like you've got the buff. Yeah, I do. I got the buff. No, bro, you don't have to apologize. Here's the... Uh, do you want to know where this one is? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Just one sec. I've got to get a charging cord, apparently. There, isn't it? Someone's already shot it. Who shot it? It's on the other side. Where are you? Right here. Is I that... thought it was on the right no, no. side. No, it's this one here. Who who shot it? Hopefully, don't please don't shoot any of the emblems along the way because you'll stuff up the red chest. Just don't shoot them. Someone's uh, already know, someone already nice... shot this. That's where my spawn. Yeah, maybe yeah. it was during the encounter. That's why we didn't get it the last couple times too, because we accidentally shot that one. Hello. Yeah, there's a I knight spoke... that spawns up there, and for some reason yeah, he keeps going to hide right in that there. corner. Yeah, right. Okay. So yeah, so. We're just gonna have to, check. Yeah. We'll have to check. Well, the others you really can't accidentally shoot. No, that one. Was, yeah, the knight's chills right there. With box breathing, Brian, it's now nah, box. It, it, you want triple tap and. Firing line. It's the best roll on it by a country mile. It's the best. I would say that cataclysmic would be arguably the best, but it just you have to proc bait and switch, right? So bait and switch fourth time in the charms is like the biggest damage, but it's annoying to have to proc it every time. And then if you get bumped or whatever, you lose it, and it's kind of the 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 uh, whatever it's called. This thing, Taipan, is the best and easiest to use, and it's like. Huge damage, huge damage. Like it's yeah, it's 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 the best DPS by a country mile. Um, we, we, we need a uh, we need Finney's. So whoever the hunter is, please, 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 please put on some Finney's. Uh, what sorry? Some finishes. I own souls. Aeon Swifts, whatever they're called on a Warlock. Uh, on a, um, Hunter. If Sect of Insight. Uh, you want this with a heavy? I gotcha. Yeah, we will get short on heavy, like something chronically. Kyle, appreciate the 200. Rich, appreciate the share, my man. GG's. GG's. Craigie, sorry, man. I, I was in me deep in the thing. Craig, appreciate the five gifties. Kyle, appreciate the hundred as well. And uh, you, you guys rock, man. Sorry, Craigie, I did see them pop, bro, but I forgot to say it. I was knee deep in trying to explain something and just completely forgot about it, my man. Appreciate you, brother. Oh. Appreciate you. I might take a break. What'd you say? Sort of, sorry, Nap. So pretty much the previous encounter Rinse and repeat. It's like, like you said, like a relay. It's a relay uh, race, yeah, yeah. Literally, it's a relay race. Yeah, you just run back as a forwards. I was a little confused at first, like right away, as you could tell. But I, after that, I called him pretty quick. I just got to go to the middle that one time that had like, what, 22? Death yeah. Or what it's called. Yeah, it's, it's, as long yeah. as everyone concentrates on the, their own roles in that encounter, it's not bad. But as, people, as soon as people start just sort of ab libbing, it just becomes a bit of a nightmare. Um, hey, appreciate you, Alan, my man, GG's, um, righto, I don't have loonies on my, on my, uh, chest piece, but that's just because I want to use my grenades to get my well back quicker, so I'm using my well for survivability more so, uh, so we got two, three wells, um, you, yeah, we'll keep the three wells, be right. um, righto, um, Divi Ace? Yeah, I've got Divi on. Sweet. So you got two choices here, but you're really just linear. Linear, and I would say run a, um, if you want, you can run an Arbalist, or you can run just a standard fusion. If you're struggling for survivability, I would say run one linear and then um, rely on your hunter or rely on people to do finishes. You just really need people to be doing finishes to get more and more ammo. Um, and then with the um, with the um, with the other weapons, you just want ad clearing weapons. So you you got a fair few ads to sort of counteract and get rid of. 
Um, the knights and stuff will probably cause you the most issues. Um, the left and right has yellow bar wizards that we have to drop, um, but they're the ones that we're going to be finishing. So there should be two on the left. There should, or sorry, there should be yeah, two or three on the left, two or three on the right. And each phase, there will be more yellow bars. So if you finish as many as you can, Torian, just call them out. Say, I finished two on the left or whatever, just so we know. Um, but basically, what's going to happen, uh, come up here. If you've ever did it in D1, it is different. So um, stand on this middle plate here for a second. Or just stand behind the plate, and I'll show you something just before you stand on it. Nap, come up. Hey, Benny, what's good? Appreciate you, Eamon. What's good, my man? Wisdom teeth removed today. Oh, Ty. <laughs> Ouch. Righto, so if you look where I'm shooting, there and there, righto, stand on the plate. Where and where? Nah, so just there. Yep. And just there. Oh, yep, yep. See how they start glowing? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Now look at the same spots when you're off the plate. They're not glowing, right? Yeah, it glows white. Yep. yep, righto. So the middle, in, in D1, you used to read from the back, but you, you don't have to. So the middle plate will read, so that'll be A's. So A's is going to stand on. Now, if one of those glows, so it'll be call out, it'll be either left or right or nothing, right? If it's nothing, it means it's mid. So if it was middle, for an example, A's will go right out, it's mid. She'll stand on, then one of them will glow and then she'll go right out, it's left. Then left stands on their plate, which is up there. And then they'll go right and then right stands on their plate. And then the last plate to stand on gets a buff and that's how we do DPS, right? So when we do the right and mid, we'll damage from just here. If we have to go the left yeah, first... Plate, we'll, I'll show you them in a second. If we get mid or right, we'll damage from just here, just so we got nice clear lines of sight. If it's left and left's first, we'll go up there. If left's last, we'll just grab left and bring it down here and shoot from down here. Um, because it's easier to do DPS down here. Right. So let's just say that it was right and the right was where the DPS started from, right? So the person standing on the plate will cop the buff. They'll stand down here, we'll drop a well, and the boss is gonna be up there, we're gonna DPS the boss. Now, wherever the buff is, there's going to be two knights that spawn at the other two plates. So if it was right, there's going to be a knight spawn in either the left side or the middle, right? So the middle one spawns just here. And then the left one spawns... Come up the top and I'll show you. Just so that everyone knows where we go, where it is. The left one spawns just there. I know. So we need to kill those knights. Those knights need to drop quickly, right? So there's going to be a dedicated person for the left knight, the middle knight, and the right knight. So basically what's going to happen is we kill, and then the knight has that rebrand, uh, brand reclaimer again. So let's just say it was the left knight. Everyone down there is doing damage. I kill the first knight. I'm going to run down. The middle knight then is going to spawn. I come down. The person that's got the buff is going to start counting down. So you say, right, time, time, time. A hey, five, four, three, two, one, at one. You take the buff from them. Now I'm holding the buff. The person kills their middle middle knight. They then pick up the brand reclaimer. I start counting down. Five, four, three, two, one. They take the brand reclaimer. Boom. Then that's the full phase of damage. But the longer we can extend those timers and the quicker we kill the knights, the more time we're going to get for DPS. So we really want people that are going to kill the knights quick, get down here and do as much DPS as possible. Is this happening during DPS phase, is it? Yes. Yep. That's how we extend so. DPS. All right, if you don't if you don't kill those knights, we can't extend our DPS. So to give you an idea of what you should be getting for damage, you should be getting at least uh, on on day one it was 500, 600k per plate. So you should be getting about one to 1.5 mil per cycle of damage, right? So we should get a full DPS, and you should be doing. I think think we last night at the damage check and it was. We we didn't we got didn't quite get it done. We wiped on the last phase, and I was five point five million after two phases. So if that gives you an idea of where you sort of need to be at with damage. So and that's the easy easy one phase it basically. So, um, but basically that's it. After every phase, so we do the, this plate here. We then wherever the buff is. So if it was the right hand plate, we stand behind this right column or pillar totem. Stand here, and he will, the boss will do a wipe mechanic. If you're not standing in the shade, you'll get killed. And then we rinse and repeat. And that takes that column out, so that column won't be there anymore. Yep. All right? Like three, eight, three chances, basically. We get four. Yeah, four in total, because there's three things, and then the last one, you just don't get anything, and if you don't get it done, you wipe. All right? Yep. So once the once the he's shot, it's rinse and repeat. We kill adds again, we do the plates again, then we do damage again. Cool? It'll take a little bit to get used to, but the biggest thing here is... Yeah. The the biggest thing here and the thing that was, will hold any team back 
is if you cannot do DPS. The DPS is the thing that's going to hold anyone back here. Hey, Jace, what's good? Uh. Um, Phil, we can do it tonight, bro, if you're about. Jason, appreciate the 200, my man, GG's. <clears throat> GG's. Righto. Um, so in that case, then, let's do... Santa, I'll get you uh, to go up with... Uh, yeah, Santa, go up with Gyps. And you'll do... Santa, you can do the left knight. Gyps, can you do the left plate? Tori, you're going to come on the right with me and do finnies. I'll get the right knight. The right knight spawns up top, is it? Hey. Just use these to hide from the boss now. Nah, the right, the right, the right knight spawns just here, bro. All right, there, yep. Yeah. yeah. And the left one is up top. Up top, there. Yep. So Toro, I'm going to give you the job of killing the middle knight, okay? Yep. Righto. So, so if 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 it is right plate, so basically what's going to happen? We're going to be doing damage here. So you need to, if, if Gypsy will call out, let's say if it was left, sorry, Sanders going to call out, Sanders will call out, will go, it's left knight first. You can do some DPS. And then as soon as say, you hear Sanders left knight's down, you're going to come and kill your knight. Or keep an eye on the taken that spawns there. Your knight's are literally going to spawn directly in front of us. Yep. If you so, don't kill so the knight, we, we lose damage. Plate? Huh? Yep, gotcha. So how do we know what plates to stand on and whatnot? You're not standing on plate. So don't, it's where it's called, the people, the plate, the plate people will call them out. The one thing that you will do, do not even jump over the plates. It activates them. Don't go near the plates at all. If you're not, if you're not on a plate, just don't go near them. Cool. So how, so how would you know if it's left or right? I, mean, uh, I guess, does it just light up, does it? And tells you. So A's, will, A's calls it out. So when A's stands on here, it'll light, light up and she'll tell us which plates to jump to. So A's, A, the, the central plate does the call outs. And if there's and if there's not left or right, is that what does that mean? Middle, middle. So the middle plate hops off and then jumps back on again. You gotcha. can stand on I'll know one on it. And then I'll and then jump. say if it's left and then the left one will jump on, then the right one jumps on last. Is that right? Correct. You've got to stay on the plate too. If anyone jumps off, it breaks the thing and it burns the plates. Okay. You got to do it so again. You can do it real quick as long as you get on them. So you can go middle and then see if it's left and jump on the left, and then automatic like straight away whoever's on the right will jump on the right. Is that how it works? Yeah. What do you have to wait? No, you don't have to wait. You can jump on. You don't have to. Well, if you're third, you don't even have to wait for the call out. Yep. Uh, you don't have to. You also don't have to rush too much either. You, I mean, you got to be quick, but you can sort of time it a little bit too to let everyone sort of get in position. So if once you, the three plates are stood on, then what happens? You put your big cock out and do some damage. Wait, yeah, yeah, and that's when the, the night falls. The night gets called out. Yeah, yeah, gotcha, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. yeah, yeah. I just want to get it clear so we. So if if if, if it's right, if it's right last, if right grabs the buff, and this is where like I get the buff, so I stand on last. There's no right knight. It's a middle and the left knight that spawns. There's always two knights. Oh, only right. two. Gotcha. There's two knights every phase, and you need to kill both of them to extend our timers. And for example, if I was to get the right buff, and you're standing here waiting for your knight. It will spawn. It just means that the left knight hasn't died yet. It won't spawn until the left knight's dead. And it can be either or, right? So the mid knight yep. might go first, and then the right, the left knight might go second. So it's just it's it's random. So if the left plate is last, that means it'll spawn middle and right. The Correct. Knights. Yep. Yep. Gotcha. 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 Right. Right. Let's go. So the wizards are going to spawn up there. We're going to do finishes up here. They come up here with me, Toro. Yeah, you will get hurt here a lot, so if you haven't got good survivability, sort of play a little reserved. I get invis. <laughs> That's not going to save you. The wizard will put that smoke on you and you'll get slapped by the uh, Axion bolts. Right, -o. wizard's going to come out here in a second and get a knight and a wizard, or two little lads and then a wizard, and then a knight. Just don't go, don't go too hard on it, otherwise it'll force it back in the door. Finish it. I right, don't come back to me. There's another wizard coming in a sec. I right, don't wait. Next wizard's about to come. All right there, grab it. All right, finish this. If we kill this knight here, and then we've got there's one knight, and then we're DPSing. Last night. No, nah, right here. Oh, he's there. Right, GG's come down for DPS. Get ready. So you go down towards the middle. And get ready for DPS down the middle. Alright. Everyone good? Yep. yep. Say middle. Yep. 
It's right, right. Right, it's left. Right, left and right knights. Go for DPS, guys. Left, right, it's left knight first. It's left knight first. Call it out for me, Gyps, when you well, killed it. I'm not killing it. It's down. I'm coming. It's down. Okay, I'm going in line. Timer. Ah, uh, four, three, two, one. Timer. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Go to stand to the right hand side inside of this pillar just here, guys. Yep, done. That's one cycle of damage. Stop pushing people, please. Stand still. Five, five, five. See why we need heavy? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a few heavy up behind Alright, done. Grab any heavy that we can. We got two bricks of so things and gyps. If you need what forbs, so there should be some in the mid. I'm gonna create some on the left too. Right behind you. I grenaded okay, no. it. I didn't get a finisher on that. So to give you an idea, I used my well just at the end there and I got my well back already. Oh. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I forgot that hammer actually does work. Left good. We good? Yep. Get off the plates. You shouldn't have run on the plate. Like, don't go near that plate, Tori. Don't jump near it. Yep. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep. It's left, left, right. Good yep. stuff. I got left, right, knight first. Uh, Timer. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Keep damage. 10, Timer. 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Grab it. DPS. What's the timer? Three, two. We're going the middle, one. middle totem, middle totem. Go, go, go. Easy dubs. GGs. Right, grab your ammo and we're Gucci from here. We should be good. And now we take it? Yep. Gonna get us some heavy, that'll be great. Great. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. You'll be on your own for a second now. Yep, I just need to get some special ones. Again. Yeah, you got heavy. Fell down, shit. If you need heavy nap, go check where seeking that is, it's usually quite Down a Down in the middle here, Tori. Finish oh. that. Oh, you got, got melted. Killed it. You killed it with that fusion shot. No way. Yes. 100% it melted it. I got Divi M over here if we need it. Sorry, we won't need it, bro. It's nearly over anyway, so. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Is that right. cool again? I've nearly got my super back, so we definitely got a well as well. I got my super. I got my super speed. Sweet. Alright, we're good. I got a heavy brick. We're good. Alright, uh, get ready. Alright. Daniel. Mid. Right. Alright, uh, DPS. I got right knight first. We'll be doing it. Right in the That's middle like again. In the middle, in the middle. In the middle? Yeah, yeah, we should be able to get it done. Timer. Just drop. Timer. A nine. Eight, seven, six, five. I've got four, it. Three, two, got one. It. Middle knight. Middle knight needs Down to die. Pick, pick the up? bum up. Pick the bum up. Pick the bum up. Yeah, pick the uh, brand up. Yep. Yeah. Five, 
four, oh, three. Shit. Yeah. I did it. Dude, dude, you're right. You're right. I get it. Yeah, last phase, if it's from the left, you just drop down. Especially if you've got no damage left to do. It's easier. Then everyone trying to jump up on their fucking platform. GG's. First first go, guys. Well done. GG's. I'm probably going to die. That brand, you want to wait for the countdown to the get maximum DPS phase? Is that um, right? hey, just two seconds. I was going to answer something for you, chat. I've done this raid a fair few times now, and I always hear that oh, I haven't got my well yet haven't got my well yet as a warlock you should always always and this is it's got nothing to do with starfires at all if you look i have 42 intellect i keep telling people that intellect means jack shit in pve anymore it really it really does not matter anymore since they made the changes to the way that you gain intellect right so what you should be running what you should be running on all of your classes and not just a well is one stack of font of wisdom which is on my on my legs right now. So Font of Wisdom. So picking up an elemental well that matches your subclass energy grants you a temporary significant increase to your intellect, improving the recharge rate of your super. What that gives you is it gives you 100 intellect for 30 seconds of every well you pick up. It resets it every well you pick up. So you've always got 100 intellect if you're generating wells, which I'm using my grenades and bountiful wells to generate wells. The other thing that you should be doing, especially if you're using a Warlock class that has Starfires, because obviously you're going to be getting more and more um, fusion grenades, um, is you want to be running Ashes to Assets on a Solar Helmet. Gain, gain bonus super energy on grenade kills. So every time you throw a grenade and get kills, you gain your super energy back. As you can see there, I was using my well, and in about 30 seconds to a minute later, I had my well straight back again. So, and the down, the timer on your well is six and a half minutes. Like it's, it, that's the combo you want to run. You should always, always, always have a super when you need it. If you are getting kills with grenades, basically. So I hope that helps you. Um, righto. Everyone's got their own plate. So nap. Um, so there's five plates here and that'll give you a secret chest. Uh, so Santa's at the right, Toro's at the left. All right, follow me down this way. Oh, shit, wrong way. Yeah, I fell down the hole. I wait for you. Don't follow me. Don't, 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 don't follow me. Don't follow me. Where the hell are we going? Uh, this way. Yeah, I don't know. I've always been one Toro, of stop where you are. Do you know where you're going, Toro? Oh. I'm, I'm on a plate. I'm on a plate, right? You, you are on a plate? Yeah, so you at that one? Nah, that's all good. I want to learn where the other ones are. I got thrown out of whack when I came in and I died. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's why I'm following you. I want to learn where the plates are as well. Uh, we came in from which way? Nap, did you go left or right? He did leave right. right. Yeah, that's the way we came in. That's the way we came in, yes. Yeah, so it's the other way there. Yeah. No, hold on. No, it's not. Yeah, you got to come towards me and then go up. Yeah, okay. Fucking confused me now that I died. I know where they all are, because I've done it for 50 bazillion times in D1. Plate one, Santa. I used to come in and farm the chests. Yep. So Santa's got, Santa's got that one. Yeah, and then down this one. Which one are you at, Ace? Uh, I don't know where they are. Here. Oh, okay. Right in the middle or the right and the left. Yeah, come this way. I think we've missed one back at the start, but it's okay. I'll go back and get it. Yeah, it's one up high, isn't it? No, nah, this is this one just here. No, yeah, cool. We're good. This one. I think there's last two places. Yeah, I've got here. the. Uh, it's this one's this way, which is the hidden one. So up on top of this pillar here, and then where's the other pillar? Are they up on top of this one? And then up over oh, here. Oh yeah, I see the hole now. And then up here where I am. And then there's a plate, you need plate jump down on the ground and there's a plate on the ground. And then back this way. Stay up at that one. one. So Nap, you're, you're number four Nap. And then this one, the last one's this way. Chips. Where's two? 
Um, two is where snappers. Uh, no. Oh, you guys come to me. Santa's, no, Toro's at two. Toro's at three. Santa's at one. One. Two. No. Oh, I'll have to take I you back. You just bypassed him. Th no, no, this is four. Oh, wait, oh, this I is five. It, I found it. This one's five. This is the last one here, Gyps. Oh, that's right, in behind, yeah. Sorry, everyone just took off then. I thought you were all going to plates. So have you got a daze? Yeah. Yeah. I think this is two. Oh, right. Go in order. No. Santa first. This isn't one. Hey, you want There's to someone on the their plate? Yeah, get off your plate. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, I'll jump up. Yeah, you're, you're on one. Okay, now you're good. Ace. It was burning me. Toro. Yep. Nap. Gypsy. That's red. Nah, Sam, Nap's got to get on his plate. I'm not on the plate. I'm down. Okay, everyone get off your plates. When I say your name, jump on your plate. All right, Santa. Yeah, I'm on. Ace. Yep. Toro. Nap. Yep. Gypsy. Yep. Done. And then the other one's just straight down the other hallway. You just keep going to the left and right, and you just keep finding them, and they're at the end of every hallway. Yeah, down this way is where two is, Chips. Oh, yeah. The chest is back that and way. And the chest is back that way. I don't need it. So where do I go? I don't need it. Make your way to I'm the center. Be... Santa's at it. Do not shoot the emblem, please, when you come through. I've already shot it. You just keep running straight down. Let's go. Oh, they got him now. They got him. <laughs> yeah, watch the hole at the bottom there. It's nowhere near as bad as it was in D1. D1, you could troll people because it was so dark you couldn't see them. But this, they've, they've yeah. put more lighting in this. Because <laughs> I, I remember coming in here and I was like, this is way easier than it was in D1. Like, D1 was, was like pitch, was pitch back. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Wow, I never did it. In yeah. D1? Yeah, 100% yeah, it was there. Which, uh, which section is this one? This is Golgoroth. Oh, Golgoroth. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um... <laughs> You said you done gaze, Gyps, didn't you? No, I haven't done gaze. Uh, did you do gaze, Santa? Nope. Okay, Gyps and A's, you can do gaze. I know A's has done it, and the rest of us okay. will do. The rest of us will do. Uh, so, well, Nap and Gyps, can you run a well for us just when we need it? Mm -hmm. um, and then Toro, you can either run Tether Toro or you can run Golden Gun. Tether will give us a damage buff. I'll run Tether. Um, but you just wait for the wait for the wait for Golgoroth to turn towards us and then tether him because it makes him jerk a little bit. Um, but you just want linears, straight out linears. So linears, 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 and you want to have Finney's on as well still. Sure, no, I've got it on. Um, one person run a wither horde, so preferably probably like nap and just nap. you want to wither horde our feet just to stop most of the ads. Um, I'm gonna run Nova Bomb for the. Um, extra damage and for the ad clearing and the weakening grenades we lost someone did we from chat uh, we lost nap nap yeah nap disconnected I'm just gonna have to explain um yeah yeah, yeah i got you yeah, easy. easy i'm gonna run to the restroom real quick while nap gets back in chat Hey Todd, what's good, brother? 
was good was good alex and roger appreciate the follows welcome to the fam welcome to the fam right so we just gotta wait for an app to come back did you say can you take a look at my heavy yeah adds up for sure this is probably the best linear in the game at the moment and pretty much how you want to craft it. And it's all because of Vest Stinger and Triple Tap. So damaging an enemy with this weapon has a small chance to reload the magazine, increase movement speed while aiming down sights, <coughs> which is another one. Your firing line. And then you've got Triple Tap Enhanced, which landing precision hits will return one round to the magazine. So it actually pulls, pulls um, ammo from thin air. So it's giving you extra ammo. Um, enhanced battery, which increases your magazine, and then fluted barrel. Uh, Seek, I'll be back in about five minutes. My name's just falling over down the road. Okay, mate. All good. I just gotta go. I gotta that. expand it to nap anyway, so. Sounds good. Back yep. in. Sorry. Working, working yours, Todd? Yeah, it's good. Really good. How long did you say, Seek? Sorry. Uh, about five. Right. I'll be back in five minutes. I gotta explain it to you there. You good? Yeah. Toro, did you leave? I bet. I dropped from the cat chat apparently. No, no, you're there. I just want to quickly to explain it to you, so it'd probably take five minutes to fully explain it to you, probably. I, I disconnected from my headset, hang on. Oh. Yeah. The same thing happened to me. Hey AJ, what's good, brother? I have wrecked bosses with that thing since I started using it and leveling it up. Lost Sector's got a smidge easier too. It's good, Todd. Where uh, where can you get the type in? Let me for righto. Um, sorry, let me just answer quick, then I'll get back to you, Matt. Can you explain from the dummies like me what is my role? Yeah, like you mean what I'm doing here, Andy? I can do that for you. Trying to do King's Fall for a while, never got to finish it in D1. Alex, it's, it's pretty, it's not too bad, bro. Grab one of those today with an enhanced triple tap and enhanced firing. So, Carl, you wasted your money on enhanced firing line, brother. Enhanced firing line is a complete and utter waste of your time because it only gives you a bump in range and it's not worth the cost of an enhanced, um, uh, one of the, whatever they're called, alloy things. Um, especially because they're hard, or not, they're, they're reasonably hard to get. Um, so, I wouldn't bother putting enhanced firing line on it. You only get a bump in range. There goes in my mouth, hard to talk. I would ask to join, but when the case, <laughs> I get you, bro. Uh, my role, yeah, sweet. I can explain that to you, Andy. That's not a problem. But back to um, the type N, right, Carl? You actually get it for free. Um, so if you guys haven't got a type N yet, go to the um, throne world, go to Enclave. And when you go to shape your weapons, the left hand side has missions. Do all of those missions. You'll actually get the armet, which is the auto rifle I was using before. And you'll actually get the linear fusion rifle and i think that's it i think there's only the two of them um and you craft them both and then you get to you actually craft them you actually get a crafted version from the quest and then level it up in shirochi or wherever you need to uh, but you want to get to level 15 because that's when you'll get your triple tap firing line and uh you go from there hey, if you've got the spare bro but it literally gives you no benefit really like range a small bump in range is not really beneficial to you because I think there's better options when it comes to ranged encounters. But um, I mean, it's still a, it's a juicer. It's a good it's a good uh, it's a good linear. But I'm not going to waste I'm not going to waste it. I've crafted every I've got every weapon crafted nearly. So I've got hardly any of those. I've got two ascendant alloys left. So I've got to be very 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 uh, careful with how I spend them. But if you need to know what what they do. Um, a little light gives you some information, but there's actually an Excel spreadsheet in the Discord that you can go to, and it gives you a list of all the extra additional perks it gives you and what's beneficial or not. So, I'd like to give you an idea, like on the Cataclysmic Bait and Switch, um, the enhanced version of Bait and Switch gives you a full extra second, um, which doesn't sound like much, but when you're doing DPS, having an additional second to not have to worry about proccing Bait and Switch is, is phenomenal. So Cataclysmic with four types of charms and bait and switch is still the best DPS linear in the game. Then probably the type N. Depending situational, um, the Storm Chaser can outbeat, out, outdo it. But nine times out of ten, or most scenarios, the type N is better. So I get that the God roll. That there is the 100% God roll. 
uh, I mean, you can sit there and argue and fucking go. People will argue and say clown cartridge is better, and and it's not. Trust me when I tell you this. With triple tap, most of the time you hardly ever have to reload. My maximum shots that I got in one go without reloading was 17. So literally did not have to reload this gun. Just 17 continuous shots. As long as you can hit crit shots. It's amazing. You had to delete alloy. Fuck, I hate you. <laughs> I just craft him. I've got like so many crafted guns. It's not funny. Right, a Toro nap. He's ready. Yeah, what's yeah up? hang on a second. I'm just trying to figure out. I've got, I've got a Bluetooth, but um, it's it's not coming through real loud. I don't know what's going on. I'll have to do. So what's Moxie. Should I, what's that? What's that? Run up this counter. Linear, linear for you. Linear, well, and wither horde. So you can be our wither horde. So you just throw wither horde at our feet. Um, the only thing I'd say to you, Nap, is I know you're using your type end, but it's completely hopeless to you. Do you have anything with firing line? Like Reed's Regret? I know you've done some trials. I can check. I don't know what that yeah, you, that. you want you want a re you want something with firing line at a minimum. So twenty five percent damage increase. Warpool gives you ten percent, firing line's twenty five, and then bait and switch is thirty five. You see, more fixed. Don't know what happened there. Clown is better only when you play solo stuff. No, I, oh yeah, no. It's just clown cartridge goes in the same slot as triple tap, doesn't it? If you're playing solo, I'd probably argue that Storm Chaser was better anyway. Statue of Liberty or what? Who nap? Yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, me. Oh yeah, nap, nap. Yeah, nap. <laughs> I was gonna say it's not. On screen, I thought you were looking at yourself. It's not me. Yeah, nah, no way. Clown cartridges in solo is no way. It, it, clown cartridges will never outbeat triple tap because if you're solo, triple it's in the same column. It's in the same column as triple tap. A triple tap offers you, as long as you can hit critical shots, if you're shit at hitting critical shots, then I would say clown cartridge. But if you if you can hit your crit shots, you want triple tap over firing line, uh, over triple tap over clown cartridge. If you're playing solo content in the instance of this particular role, I would argue that probably box breathing or frenzy would be your better options in the way of your damage options. If you're a solo player doing solo things, firing line needs two players next to you to be able to do DPS. So box breathing is a, uh, I can't remember what the increase, uh, short period, five point bonus range, precision damage. Uh, the range of precision damage for one shot. So it's only one shot. So you would go Frenzy, which is an extra 10% all the time. 15% for Frenzy, sorry. So 15%, you go Frenzy while you're engaged in con contact and triple tap because then you're generating free ammo. Uh, that's that's the part that makes triple tap OP is the free ammo. Hey, hey, like what's good, my man? What's good? Napture, Napture of Liberty. <laughs> but yes. Yeah. So yes, we'll, no, triple tap will always be, no matter whether you're solo or in a team, triple tap is free ammo. Uh, you, you understand the perks and how they work because, as I said, triple tap, the reason that makes this so strong is precision shots give you free ammunition. So in places where you need ammo and you're short on ammo, the extra ammunition at no, like it doesn't cost you anything other than a precision shot, you get free ammo return to your magazine it's not pulled from reserves it's literally made from fresh air pulled from the heavens above and given to you so you can do more dps if you're a solo player though and you're not doing something then firing line is useless to you clown and frenzy clown clown and frenzy is not bad yeah clown and frenzy clown and vorpal the only thing with frenzy is you is if over vorpal is frenzy you have to be engaged in combat for it to activate where and then there's a timer on that with Vorpal, it's just always so depending on situation situational they're both 
both have their pros and cons, but you Vorpal is is ease of use, right? So Vorpal is only 10%, Frenzy is 15%, but for ease of use, Vorpal, you don't have to worry about proccing anything. It's just, bam, it's there, it's ready to rock. But if you are a solo player and you're looking for solo content, we're all talking about the complete wrong weapons. If you're a solo player and you want to do DPS, you need the Cataclysmic with fourth times the charm and bait and switch. That is by far the best single player DPS that you can get. Alright, I'm ready. Sweet. You good, Tori? With firing line and killing ready, wind. That'll do. Firing line's what you want. Righto. So, a little bit different than D1, but not hugely different. Still same concept, basically. So, basically we shoot the middle orb, gold ruffle spawn. we got to go down the back here and kill a heap of adds. Once all the adds are killed, there's going to be a yellow bar wizard that spawns. We try and finish it just so we can get some ammo. So once it's finished, we all run back to the center and we get ready for DPS. So A's and Gyps will do um, gaze, so they'll stand at opposite ends of each other. So for an example, Gyps will stand here and A's will stand at the opposite. So one front, one back, kind of like how you do for caretaker, kind of, but you just don't have to get as close. Um, now basically what's gonna happen is there's gonna be a, a ball that spawns just here. We shoot the ball, it'll drop to the ground and it'll create a pool. We need to stand in that pool to do DPS. Gyps and A's, so A's, will, whoever shoots him in the back will take his gaze and they need to drag him around in front of us. So they need to do that before we drop the ball, just so we get maximum DPS time. They'll drag him around so we get an open shot of his crit. We jam, jump into the pool here and you shoot him in the chest. Now, during the whole damage phase, someone's gonna get, um, uh, what's the freaking buff called again? I keep forgetting the buff names. Unstable, unstable, light. unstable light. And you'll hear like a, a, a it's kind of like if you've done VOG, it's the same as freaking getting detained, having the um, the detainment in, in VOG. You just get the fuck away from him, right? So essentially in D1, you just run away from everybody <coughs> and then you blow up and then come back in. You don't die. Um, but in this one, in, in D2, you actually run it at Golgoroth and stand next to him and it'll blow up on him and cause about 500k of additional damage. Cool. Sweet. So if you don't do that and you're standing there and you're the only one that's left alive, then you're the one that had the buff and you didn't run away from us. <laughs> It'll kill everyone. Um, the big thing here and what, what tends to people struggle with is the people that are doing the um, gaze need to start pre-firing the next ball for us in between their gaze shots so that when we finish our damage, we can shoot it and it drops pretty quickly so we get longer DPS. So we move to the next pool. That ball drops, DPS, DPS, DPS. Move to the next one, DPS, DPS. And there's, there's six balls in total. That's one full phase of damage. Um, so the girls will just count down their timers between them and they'll just keep switching gazes backwards and forwards. And once that's done, um, we get out, we do a, go down the end, kill the knight again, uh, the wizard again, come back down to the middle and it's same, reads to repeat. Um, there's going to be ads and shit. That's what the weather hoard's there for to make sure we're just controlling the ads. Um, but yeah. Yeah, there's a timer on the gaze. So if you have the gaze, there's a timer on it. So how the gaze will work is like, let's say Gypsy's got the gaze and she's standing here, we're doing DPS. She'll go, righto, three, two, one, A's will shoot it. And then they rotate. So A's will come down here with the gaze and rotate it here so we can do DPS. Gypsy will go to the other end. So she's got the back and she'll shoot the back again. So she'll come down this way while A's is doing the gaze and she'll shoot it now while, while they're doing the gaze the axion bolts and adds and stuff will kill try to kill them so they've got to combat all that shit as well <coughs> but basically then a's will count down she'll shoot then they'll just keep rotating backwards and forwards quick and easy but the biggest thing here is just getting that dps in the middle so getting those wells um making sure we're controlling the ads with with uh with witherhood so just fire the witherhood at our feet nap just fire it at our feet so the ads don't come and mess with us. So just fire one every 10 seconds or so. Even if you want to pre-fire it where we're going to as well. DPS phase? If, and when we get to DPS, yeah, just fire it on the ground in front of us just so the ads piss off. Um, it. It, it, we may wipe once, but you'll get it. once. It's not a hard mechanic. We, we'll get it done pretty quick. We need a second with a horde. I can put one on as well. <clears throat> you are what? what? Oh, if you need a second with a horde, I can put one on. Nah, you're better off probably putting on a um, either a uh, kinetic kinetic fusion or a uh, or a um, arbalist. 
Right on. Right. Uh, and fun fact, fun fact, if you haven't seen it yet, Salt, salt uh, one phase there with two shoulder charges. <laughs> fucking, so, <laughs> so fucking broken. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, was it? Yeah. Fucking uh, trench barrel, trench barrel, a, um, a uh, tractor cannon and a Titan shoulder charge with synthos. Boom, gone. <laughs> Joking. Yeah, um, Toro go over the left side with Sansa and Ace, and Nap come at me. So there'll be. Um, There's a yellow bar down here. You need to finish. Side? Yeah, you got Finney's on, on you. Right or the left? Uh, yeah. it'll spawn on the right. It spawn on either, but it's usually on the right hand side. All right, let's go. Just call out when it's up. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, just don't nuke it. Don't fire where the hordes at it, Nap. Yeah. Add spawn where you are. First, first, first. Keep an eye behind you. And then they spawn down the back. So basically to whoever was that asked what I'm doing, we add clear. Down this way, keep killing all the ads. And once all the ads, once the yellow bar wizards spawn, we go back and do DPS. It's right there on the door. Nah, that's the red border. Kill that. He he can die, it's the next one that we need to worry about. Let him out the door though, Nat. He's down. Next one's gonna come now, Tori. Uh, which is on left. Stop shooting at it. Stop shooting at it. Like right, finish it. GG's. Righto damage. Righto. Start pre-firing. Um, Jip, uh, A's take the gaze for Jips. Yeah, I've got. He was facing me. Yeah. Now Gyps, you go down the other end. No, no, no. So Gyps wants to stand down that end. She wants to take it from that end. It's quicker. So you rotate around here. So if you want to bring... If you, A stands down here and gets the gaze, then you shoot him in the back and he turns the back around to you so you don't have to move. So we get straight away okay. DPS. So you want to drag him up here. So Gyps... Nah, it's alright. It's a wipe. It's, just wipe it. But yeah, you want to do the opposite. Yeah, so you want... Yeah, I know you haven't. It's fine. So you want to do the opposite oh, okay. so that way then it's quicker so we get longer DPS phase, basically. Yeah, so you want to manipulate it into a position so she can shoot it and get the gaze. Okay, yeah. Gotcha. Hey, Joe, not a problem, bro. GG's, brother. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm at 13 or 14 Sherpas now. Oh, nice. So you can get the emblem. Yeah. Yeah, I want the emblem too. <laughs> yeah. Call up work for me. But they're, 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 they're just, they're just, they're, um, they're, they're, they're a little long at the moment, unfortunately. <laughs> it's not a, it's not a, it's not a short raid. <laughs> what was that? How many Sherpas do you need for the emblem? Ten. Yeah. Same as the other yeah. one. I think I'm calling off work all next week. My I can come in by quick. Uh, it's good. We're good. But yeah, so that look, you can do it either way, A's and Gyps. But it's the the easiest way is that Gyps gets herself in position. A's you control it, and then Gyps will take Gaze first by shooting it, and then that way, then we get maximum damage. Tens yeah. for the emblem, Joe. And then we switch down. Hey, bro, what's good? Yeah, you switch once your timer gets down low. Yeah. yeah. And then you rotate. Let A's rotate down. You rotate up and rinse and repeat. Nah, that's wrong, which bro. Oh. Well, then I don't feel bad at being fast. Yellow bar's the one you want. Once the two red borders are dead, red bars, you'll, the yellow will spawn. Keep giving yeah. you a color. Oh, yeah. What color are they then? Yellow. yellow. This one here's the yellow bar, though. What's this yellow? Yeah, this one that comes out, too, is yellow. Yeah, but the other ones, the other ones are not the bosses. They don't, they don't give you heavy. These ones are the ones that give you heavy. The other ones are more orange bars and yellow yeah, bars. Yeah, as I say, yeah, they're a red bar, orange bar. Yeah, fuck, you finish that in the door. We're not going to be able to get that. It's all right. Let's go. Cool. It's all right. So your yeah, A's take the gaze and stand over here. So you just shoot at the boss and get him to come this way. Yeah, and then Gyps get ready. Oh, you went too early, Gyps. Did I? Yeah, yeah, it's alright. Come on, drop the ball, drop the ball, drop the ball. 
Your time is there. Damage, damage, damage. What's your time, Jeff? Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Next ball. Who has light? Someone's got unstable. Run away from us. Please. Yep, you died. <laughs> Shoot the ball. Yeah, this is messy. Five, four, uh, three, two, one. You're over here, boys. You gotta be in the pools. Look at the pool on the ground. Alright, now we gotta go to the next one, which is above us. Right? So the next ball's above us here. You gotta shoot this ball down as a team. Ball will drop on the ground, and that's where we do DPS. You gotta rotate it to us a bit more. Alright, next ball. On the on the on the unstable light. Drop. Yep. Damage. That's better. Heaps better. Let's go. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Next, next pull. Oh. Rotate it to us. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Timer. Well. Five, four, three, two, one. Should we wait? Over here on me, you guys. You can't do DPS where you're standing, bro. The pools. I, was I got unstable. Damn it, man. Ah. Right. That's it. No more damage. Get out. All right. That's 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 a full cycle, but we're gonna wipe because that was got that was dog shit and the fact that you guys kept dying. <laughs> so. Yeah, and I'm gonna have you on as well. Yeah, but yeah, that that was a full cycle. But yeah, you got to move to the pools. Don't just don't just stand out there in the middle of nowhere. So when when Gyps and A's finish their countdown, no, no, when Gyps and A's finish their countdown, the pool location changes. You got to look at the roof to see where the next ball is. Shoot the ball down, and you got to stand inside the pool. Otherwise, you don't do any DPS. And you realistically, I mean, the well the well's handy, but it's not the end of the world. Just shoot that with a horde, and we're good. It takes about six shots. Um, they took Warily's, uh... Yeah, that's the only way to die. Oakley, yeah. um, King's Fall ready. Um, Brian, I think we're going to do it Friday regardless, bro. We're going to take Oak through on Friday for his first clear, so... That's our, that's our raid day, so... So that was a rough damage phase, and like 2.7 is probably not, not high enough. You sort of want to be four and a half to five mil on a full cycle. Like if if we, if it all if everything's optimized, we should be doing it for that sort of four and a half ish. So pop your if 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 Gypsy gets the gaze quick enough, the first damage cycle is our is our longest. The first damage wave, and that's the so that's where we want to do the the majority of our DPS. So that's where you want your tether, and that's where you want the well nap. First one, gotcha. Yeah, the very first one, yeah. So Gyps Gyps doesn't take this the gaze until we drop the ball. So the ball drops, Gyps takes the gaze, and then that gives us our maximum amount of deeps. And then in between, in between, once the girls get comfortable, the gaze people start pre-firing our balls for us, so we don't have to worry about dropping them ourselves. Oh, Brian, that's no good, bro. Um, <clears throat> so whoever's keeping the gaze and getting the gaze kind of weakens the ball. You just, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just gate the gaze by shooting them in the back. So it's pretty much the same mechanic as, as I said, when I say Golgoroth, one gets one gets front and one gets back sort of thing. Not Golgoroth, um, Caretaker. Right, let those ads come out a little bit nap this time don't 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 pre-fire them in the doorway they let them come out a little bit otherwise it forces the wizard back inside and then we don't get the ammo let me know when your wizard's out i'll come over and finish it yeah i'm just trying to see where it's at it hasn't come out yet 
Yeah, it's here. It's on the. Uh, it's on the. Out uh, the right hand side, bro. Oh, jeez. Golgroff slapped us. Out of curiosity, what's your resilience at, Nap? Is that gonna put her in the doorway again? Yeah. Right? How much? Nah. Did you say 43, Nap? 43. Yeah. That's why you're dying, bro. Yeah. Yes, I need uh, any help with all that. Yeah, you're good. Righto, we, 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 everyone's good. Mm -hmm. Righto, get ready, drop the ball. Shoot the gaze now, Gyps. Righto, turn it towards us. Yep, perfect. GG's, let's go deep in the chest. Perfect. Call that timer out. Eight, seven, six, five. Four. Someone's got the unstable, run away. Oh, nap town. Nah, don't revive, just wipe. It's four deaths, bro. You gotta look out for that buff on your left hand side of the screen, bro. Yeah. You're gonna be that dude and kill everyone, eh? <laughs> oh yes, yeah, so right there. That was the perfect start to our damage, right? So yeah. everything, everything awesome. worked perfect. The tether was there. The well went down. We just didn't get enough uh, deeps. See, like right there. Look, first pull, one point, nearly one point three million, is 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 where the bench, like your benchmark of where you need that deeps to be at. Granted, I am using a Nova Bomb, but you, you still still should be getting up. Yeah, I was near 800. But yeah. 100k a shot. And what, is it, what does it say again if you, when you have when you're setting him again? Unstable light. Unstable light. Okay. It'll <laughs> pop up right above your super bar. Usually at the very top. <laughs> what, what was Nab's damage for Basil? Uh, Basil, yeah, I know. Damage is legit. Alright, let's go. Yeah, so if you've got 40 resilience on Nap, you, you're going to get clapped pretty quick. So just try not to put yourself in silly positions. Uh -huh. and... That's at 93 now. Hey. <laughs> you want to get it? You want to get it to 100? 40 percent is just nice. too good. Don't forget you got a rift as well, buddy. Those bombs hurt the guy, yeah. The Axions, yeah, they do. Uh, Wizards on the back. left. Let him come out, let him come out. Right there, let's go. Grab it, Tori. It's ready to go. Right, de deep, let's go. Take the gaze, Jibs. DPS. He didn't turn. Why didn't he turn? Turned, yeah. Take the gaze. Take the gaze. I got it. This is me now. Who's got light? I can't. Me. This wipe. A wipe. Yeah. A wipe. I don't know why that happened. It happened to us the other night too. It must be just a bug. And then he doesn't, and then you get that other bug where his chest doesn't open up either. Oh, damn. <clears throat> Take lollies off just to die. <laughs> it's a bit like that. <laughs> it's alright. You've got the mechanic down, Pat. Nah, the tether, the tether's, yeah, you got to put the tether after she gets the gaze, but the tether... It, it's not the tether because yeah don't pay attention to my damage <laughs> yeah, <don't. laughs> yeah. yeah unfortunately it doesn't count against the health bar do you want me to tell you why i got seven million of damage that's a that was a that was that was a grenade and one one linear shot in his back 
Got seven million. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the uh, infinite golden gun glitch. <laughs> nah. Stop net, uh, stop net, stop net, stop net, net limiting. Nah, it's when you shoot him in. When you take his crit spot, it doesn't count. It doesn't give, doesn't give you any any uh, actual boss damage. Yeah, so the tether does. The tether does, but so Toro, you've got to wait for Gyps to get the gaze and turn it towards us before you tether. Yeah. Yeah. So you gotta wait for him to turn before you tether, and then tether. Yeah. So did you tether early? I didn't tether that round. Oh, okay. So it wasn't the tether then. Okay, sweet. So yeah, then that wasn't it then. Yeah. Oh, it's happened to us a couple of times, even when we haven't used the tether. So I, I actually don't know what causes it, but I think it might be something to do with when the gaze is grabbed and when the ball gets dropped, if it's simultaneous or something. Not sure. Nice. Doesn't like it. <laughs> Doesn't like the efficiency. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I think it's a left. Yeah, it's on left. <laughs> oh, I died. Shit. It's alright. Get his res. Let, let the wizard out. Let the wizard out. Let the wizard out. Ah. Come out, you prick. You wanna get in position? Just I'm, dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Nope. Yeah, yeah. You know. Two deaths, but we're good. Let's go. My fault. I ran through a dam. We only have the one tether, so if someone didn't tether him then. Alright, damage now. Let's go. Uh, Aze is dead. It's alright. No, he's done it again. Hey, hey, there's no there's no fucking tether, I can tell you that right now. There's no tether. He's definitely... There we go. Yeah. So wipe. That is weird. What are the rewards you're trying to get, Cody? Oh, I can't get anything anymore this week, bro. I'm just helping people get their first clears, bro. Maybe I can't stand on that side straight away. I have to be middle and then walk that way. So there you go. Glitch happened again. No tether. Hundred percent no tether. So it's not nothing to do with the tether. The tether stops him from turning, but what happens there? He just doesn't turn at all. Happened to us twice last night when we didn't have a tether. It only, it only happened to me since last night. I had it happen to me twice last night, and it's just happened to us twice again. I think it's when we, I think it's when we shoot the orb, the 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 ball. Did you grab the the gaze, then shoot the ball, or did we shoot the ball and then you shot the gaze? Yeah, I shot the ball. Shot the ball first. Yeah. Shoot the gaze first, and then we'll shoot the ball. Yeah, I was trying to time that, but it didn't quite yeah. work. We try that and see if that is it. Cause I think I think that it's, that's the only thing that makes logical sense that's causing it. Well, I'm also going to try to start in the middle and work my way over to the left to turn them dodges. Oh, let's go. I think it's going to be on the left. Yep. Let him come out. Let him come out. Let him come out. Stop. Stop shooting at him. Yeah, he's out now. Let her. Her him. It. It. I do. Damage. Do you want this pre-fired or let her take it first? No, nah, no, nah, I'll pre-fire it and Gyps can take the gaze when we're ready. So Gyps, come this way a little bit. Oh. Yeah, that's where I was. I'm going to try and take it from here. Yeah. See if that's why he was doing it. Alright, All right, get ready. Pre-fire the ball. Go now, take the gaze. Yeah, I reckon that's what it is. DPS, guys. Yeah. 
Where the fuck's oh that God. pool? Five, four, three, two, oh, move. One. Next ball. Should be weak, so it shouldn't take too long. I wasn't standing in the freaking pool. Neither was allowed to terrible damage. 10k per shot, eh? Yeah. Five, Eight. Four, Who's got it? Move. Two, one. Yeah, those ads just wrecked me. Shit. We need to get these balls down quicker. Hey. That's what these wither hordes are for, supposed to be for. Five, four, three, two, one. Shoot it. Someone's got the unstable. Me that time? Probably. Uh, that's a while. Uh, oh, damn it. Uh, one. Yeah. One. Yeah. I killed you. Hey, hey, hey. Georgie, appreciate the 500, my man. Uh, maybe in the case it wasn't, but for sure it could see us uh, what happened, so I suggested one of course. Why did you have the gaze to tell? I know the guys there. Nah, um, yeah, so I know it's not the tether that's causing The tether can cause him to, um, to twist mocks. But, um, so you want to make sure you tether once he's done his rotation. Um, if you're going to use a tether, you don't want to tether early. Otherwise, he does stop him. But in the case that um, of what's happening there, it's definitely not the tether because it happened to us last night multiple times without tether. What's the other clan about? I re what's the other clan about I read in Discord, Johnny? Johnny, other clan? Yeah, that's what I, there's nothing in there. Oh, if you're talking about what I said about making an additional clan, so the idea is is that we will probably potentially have a secondary second clan at some point in the not too distant future. Because we've always sort of oh, floating sorry. and tinking, tinkering around the top of um, <clears throat> of the um, threshold. So. Hey, give me a second. You go back real quick. Yeah, you're good. Um, who is who? Who's who else is running a uh, with the hood? I'll 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 oh, to put one on. I'll put her on. Right. But you guys are gonna have to make sure those balls drop because they're not dropping fast enough still. Because I can't shoot the balls, otherwise I'm wasting heavy weapon, uh, heavy uh, dips. But I'll I'll take care of the ads. But yeah, so basically that's it. The one thing I would say to you is if you have one person running a Wither Horde, even if you've got Wells, um, you really want the Wither Hordes because the ads will st um, uh, the ads block your damage, but they can also flinch you and stuff as well. So running a Wither Horde, just dropping a Wither Horde sort of helps to uh, kill most of the ads. Um, hence why I'm running a Warlock so I can throw the, the Nova, so I can throw my Nova and the grenade and suck enemies into it so I can... Uh, Stop them from coming and attacking us. Yeah, I might make my vortex grenades last longer. What do you own, uh, Hunter? Yeah. 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 Yeah, that might help a little bit, right? Correct, Matt. You are correct. But you want to, you want to probably you. you, you Linear fusions are great, but you want to, if you use an LMG, you can use an LMG and say like an arbalist, and then that way, then the LMG you can take the balls down with the LMGs pretty quick. Well, I'm using Storm Chaser, putting three in it, and it's ready to shoot, but it keeps healing itself. You talking about the ball? Yeah. yeah they're short. Three Storm Storm Chasers, it's nah, so so it's you do it in between gazes. I don't know, the LMG is the way. So you, you pretty much, before you shoot, you can drop the pre-drop pre, pre -drop the ball. So if you pre-drop the ball, then so pre, you can literally drop the ball and then switch oh, and then okay. shoot it. Yeah. Uh, oh, actually, I don't know. Actually, I actually don't know if you can drop the ball because I think that it changes the bow gaze too. I'm not 100%. That's something I'd have to check. Yeah, I've been getting it weak, so it's easy to shoot, but... By the time I take the gaze, it's pretty much healed again. Yeah, Arbalist one shot to, to take the gaze too, Matt, doesn't it? I think that was a yeah. thing in D1 as well. I yeah, that. yeah, it's one shot. Arby's who, one shot. Who are we waiting on, Nat? You back, Nat? Yeah. Arby one shot's the... No. 
the I'd back. have to check. I'd have to check Fine the back. Then. You good? I'll be one shot the back and linear is a two shot. <clears throat> I'd have to test. Oh, it's cracked like that? Yeah, you can see it like starts. Yeah. No, you can see it. See how it starts pulsating? Yeah. Boom. It sort of, yeah, starts doing like a pulse. Like, imagine getting kicked in the nuts. That's what it sort of would, it does. That's why Gobble Girl's so mad and shooting his balls. <laughs> shooting his McNuggets, as Oakley would say. Oak's gonna freak on this boss. Um, I don't know if you'll freak on this boss. I think I think the the boss boss might be a little bit overwhelming for him. He doesn't like Morgra, and this is basically looking like Morgra. Very good. Not oh, not Morgra. Caretaker. Caretaker. Well, that's his father, so. <laughs> Left. <laughs> Let him get Let out. Let him out. Yeah, he's out. Mess him up. Chad, he's weak, so don't go too hard. He's good. Alright, deeps. Deeps. I take your gaze, Gyps, now. Alright, I just go. DPS. Rally. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch. Oh, dude, I'm unstable light. Fuck, I'm sorry, guys. Fuck. Don't worry, just wipe. It's alright, it's alright. It's, it's a bit it's a bit full on, man. That is, I think this is going to happen whenever you're teaching anybody. Too late. Yeah, I whenever you're teaching it's anybody, it's going to happen, bro. It's just fine. It's a bit, it's a bit, man. I forget sometimes, bro, so. You, 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 I realize too late. All, all I'm going to say, second, been all, right. all I'll say to you is there's two cues. There's the one on the left-hand side of your screen that says unstable charge or unstable light. and the, But then there's also the sound. You hear it. It's the same as, as VOG. It builds and builds until it gets sort of thing. And it's to a point where once you can hear it really loudly, you're dead. But at least you get the chance to get away from everybody and kill yourself versus kill everybody else. At least in VOG, you can see your, your arms glow when you're shooting. That's a good indi indicator, but you don't have that on this one. You, you definitely start glowing. <laughs> I didn't, yeah, I didn't see you, it. You, you, you do glow. Yeah, you do glow. I'm I don't sure know if you can I'll, see I'll, it on your screen. I, I think I think something that they should change their chat. What do you think? Think about this, right? How hard would it be for them to visually change? So if you get unstable light, that your screen starts to like go red, like you're getting taking damage, or, or like the color of your screen changes, so you actually physically can see visually. Like having a little buff timer on the left hand corner is cool, but sometimes you're just so focused on DPS that you kind of lose a bit of sight. So I don't know, chat. It's a good question for you. Screens are going black. Yeah, well, see, he said they think the screen glows. I've never noticed the screen glowing. No, neither have I. No. It used to in D1, like bright green. It kind of nearly blinded you. Yeah, uh, everyone good? Nice. Did you get your flag this time, Tori? I did, I did. Yeah. Did you bring your get good mod? Up. Yeah. <laughs> no. I got my flag mod on. Mm -hmm. I just, I just feel the indicators are pretty shitty sometimes, especially yeah, if you're if you're concentrating. I think I, I like the changes they made to the buffs and stuff. How they've got little emblems and stuff next to them now. I think that's cool. So they're a little bit more uh, understanding of what the hell is going on. I've always felt Destiny's buffs were a kind of shitty way that they did it. Like it's kind of in a really a shitty spot. Left. He's ready to rock. A little bit more damage. A little bit more energy. Yep. Make sure to put lollies back on this time. The last few times I forgot. 
Oh, you become a mortal again like the rest of us. Ready, drop it. Oh, you yeah. win early. Shoot it. Dips. No stop. Dips. I have. Yeah, so that's definitely the bug. I have unstable. You uh, put them in. I turned me at all. I got him, but. Can't see shit. Nah, it's a wipe. That's a wipe. Yeah, so you can't drop the boy. That's definitely what's causing it. <clears throat> so you gotta ca you gotta take the gaze before you drop the ball. He still turned. He did, but he stopped and he closed his chest. He, you couldn't you couldn't damage him for a brief moment because he stunned. So you want to turn him before you do. So you must stun when you shoot the ball down. You can kill me, man. Come on, you pussy. Is that all you got? Your mum hits harder than that. <clears throat> the screen the screen goes green? I'd have to look. My colorblind settings probably make it so I can't see it anyway. Uh, there is a green there, but it's very, very faint. It's faint, is it? <clears throat> You've had it bugged when you took gaze before it? Oh yeah. Oh, well, I can't figure out why it does it, but in the instance we didn't do it, it didn't bug. So I'm just going to assume that it's got something to do with the timing between taking gaze and dropping the ball. I, I, I actually don't know what's causing it. It could be just the fact that it's just a bug that happens. Like how, like last night when we got teleported into the, uh, into the nightmare realm and dungeon and <laughs> didn't actually go anywhere. Then wiped us. And then it wiped us. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. That was bullshit. It like took us to the nightmare realm, but didn't take us. It done the screen animation, and then that was it. No teleport. So, this is the run. Oh, look at all this heavy guys! I love you guys. Thank you, looking after me. Happy Father's Day, see? <clears throat> Father's Week. Hopefully on reset I'll get my touch of malice. No. Give me my Father's Day present from Bungie. You said what, 13 clears? I said my guess was 13 clears, yeah. Yeah, so oh, 20, oh, 23 clears. Wow. Then. 13 you reckon? Wow, been a bit... Oh, I think oh, so, mate. Yeah, mate. Get it, Brandon. Yeah, we'll get, yeah, get, get it, get it, get it. Over the side. Thank you. I'm not through fire in this time, so we're ready. Pre fire it, Saint. Just don't know when you ask shoot it. Right, take gaze, Gyps. Got it. Right, let's go. DPS. Yeah, that's better. We gotta get the gaze before oh, she got the ball down. Legs, that's the, the Who's got unstable? Five. Look for unstable, guys. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Drop the ball. Drop. Not turn. Yeah, I had to move over there. Got it again. We've got a light. Nap's got it. I got it, I got it. Next orb. Uh, three, two, one. Next ball. Oops. You got a light. Five. Unstable, four, guys. Two. I got it. One. Good shit with the with the uh, things. Turn a little bit more. How's that? Yeah, better. Stable, stable, stable. Uh, four, three, two, Next one. one. Where's the ball? Where's the thing? It's on him. Yeah, it's under him. Oh, no, no, no. Who's unstable? Three, two, get away from him. <laughs> Next one's dropped. Good DPS guys. Let's go. Terrible. 
I'm focusing Five, on my heads. Four, three, I am, I am, I am. That's it. Righto, damage, get out. Good damage. Good face. Well done. Grab your ammo, rinse and repeat. Yeah. There's more heavy down the scene. I think I was only hitting 53 damage, 53k with my um, reads uh, the whole time. You got triple tap on? I was only hitting 53. You got boss spec on? I was hitting 80 last time. 80 something. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but I'm hitting 50 something. 53. Bring this down. <coughs> Alright, we good. Lights are down. Let's get it done. Alright, eh? Start shooting it. Take your gaze chips. GG's. Uh, See, I'm hitting for 100k. I got it. I got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Next one. Where's the next book pool? Oh, back there. How easy do I need to turn in there? No, he's good. Me, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. Hammer. Uh, one. Take it, take it, take it. Good shit. Well done. Next ball. Yeah, easy dubs, guys. Well done. Let's get it. GG's. Guys, <coughs> Slide down the screen is nice. Alpha Observe. Okay. One's Terminus. I remember that used to be really good. In Which gun? PvP. Back in the, 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 the machine gun. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, best of luck, guys that uh, can't jump. And I need Stompies on. Alright, wait up, wait up, wait up. I'm gonna have to follow you guys. Sword. Stompies. Swords on. Help. Sword, sword does help, yeah. Sword in. I got no ammo. Oh, it's you. You're pushing. I was going to say, there's no way I'm getting pushed away from this wall right now. There's a little legends just land on that. Yep. Oh, where was it? No. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, I never made it this far. Even in D1. Oh, if I had a sword, I would be fine. Chest is back this way. I don't think I've got it on this character, so. The chest hat. Over where we are. I can't remember if I got it on this one on this character. Whoa, catch a ace. Nap, turn around behind you. No, 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 nap. Turn around behind you on the wall just there. There's you gotta jump across to those platforms just there where I'm shooting. And then when you get there, <clears throat> respawn when you get there, pull your ghost out and you'll see some platforms to jump on. <laughs> what? Oh no! Get back! Get back! Get back! That was interesting. I just wrote did. You already grab the chest. I don't I need it. it. I didn't touch oh, yeah. it. Pull your ghost out again, now. Yep. Jump and then go to your right onto the little platform to your right. No, no, no. Just stay where you are, now. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. I'll come get you. Get bombarded by those. So up, up here, now where I am. Up here and then go that way. 
pull your ghost out. There's another platform just in front of us just here. And you turn around behind you and there's a doorway for the chest. Anyone else need the chest? Uh, uh, Toro? Yeah, Toro needs uh, yeah, it. It looks so different than D1. It's not too bad. It's not too... Did you already open it now? Yeah. Oh, shit. Shit away. Nah, I've already got it on this character. Up there. Got the machine gun with unrelenting and firing lines. Oh, we Whereabouts? Up here, bro. Right where fake is. Oh, up, yep. Gotcha. And then come out back onto the platforms. I'll wait for you at the end. Just wait here for a second. I'm just going to kill these ads. Thank you. Alright, so you're gonna aim straight over there, so just jump. And then eager edge. <laughs> I think I got good enough running start. <laughs> yeah, um you'll have to time your jump there, Toro. No, not if he's got stompies on. And then you jump up here to where I am. Jump up again. You jump on top of that little thing just there and then straight up. And then past this dick, up to this dick, and then from this dick, jump here, and then up, up onto this little mound just here. Oh, Toro, I got, I'll come back and get you, I'll get you, just stay where you are now. You thrusted me pretty hard. <laughs> See, if you jump from down here, you don't, you miss all those. Yeah, I just like the non-risk of getting any of those dicks at all. Yeah, this one you don't encounter any of them, you can just jump straight up. Oh, you still have this little black bursty thing though, that's the only problem. Yeah, time it right, doesn't bother you. Yeah, you don't get any dicks at all or any of the burst things you go the top way. If I'm doing flawless, I'm going over the top, because safety first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> safety first. <laughs> Yeah, always use your PPE, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I remember struggling to get up this thing in D1 sometimes. Wait, wait I'm just running around in a circle. Where are we going? Yeah, just Jump keep up jumping up. Jumping up. I, oh, I went way too high that time. Jeez. Hey Marvin, what's good? I think it's the same, they only add the way to run. Always use your PP, no, your P PPE. PPE, personal protective equipment. <clears throat> Alright, eh? Purple Peter, purple Peter Peter. Now, welcome to the biggest debate in Destiny. There we go, done. Biggest debate in Destiny is what you should call the call out. So I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks. <laughs> I'm going to do it the way that I want to do it. So think of a clock. Clock. 12 o'clock is directly straight down, right? So very, very furthest thing you can see is 12 o'clock. There is four plates. You read it clockwise. So one, two, three, four in a circle. Plain and simple. There's no lefts. There's no L1s and L2s. It's one, two, three, four. Clean. We don't call names. It's simple. Oh, 12s over there. One's over here. We don't. We don't actually need 12. So 12s where Oryx spawns, and then you've got one, two, twos where the knight is right now. Then three, and then four. So in a circle, clockwise. Clockwise. Should I use? Ah, uh, you want for this one here? You want a hot head? If you haven't got a hot head, run a Galahorn. If you haven't got a galley, if you, yeah, we only need one galley though. We only need one galley and the rest of us legend rockets. The, the hotheads, so you can use uh, Wardcliff. It, Wardcliff's fine too. If everyone just uses Wardcliff, there's six tenths down the other. But hothead gives you more ammo and you actually will kill it faster if everyone shoots with it. It, it absolutely collapse cheeks. <clears throat> I think I have a high head, but it's not a good. Yeah, you just if you haven't got that, then have you got a divinity nap? Yeah. Chuck on a divinity. <clears throat> Ace, you've got a hot head, haven't you? Or nah? Yeah. Yeah, you run a hot head, and then Ga Toro, if you want to run galley. Yeah. Everyone else, chuck on their hot heads. 
if you don't have a hot head, then you should have run more of the uh, more of the uh, GMs. Yeah, I've got like twenty in my vault, but none with the roles I wanted. Uh, we need one well. Yeah. Got my well on still. Yep, sweet. Uh, for you, Toro, run the arc super if you want. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, I can uh, it. No, don't just leave it. Don't worry about it. Um, Trinity Ghoul and Risk Runner are uh, really good here. Like, really good. And I'll explain it to you. What, if you can. Uh, fusion or a shotgun. Personal preference, really. I, I use a shotgun because you can kill the knights quicker. My hot head is garbage. It has field prep and thresh. That that is pretty hot. That is pretty garbage. But you got you don't you have divinity on? Yeah. Yeah. So if you put double ammo reserves for a hot head, you get nine in the chamber instead of the six you get from with uh, from Waldcliff. I have another hot head that has um tracking a cartridge. Tracking? A detector. Nah. But tracking and clown cartridge. Righto, so we know the plates. So what's gonna happen? So very different, not not very different, but different to D1. Just don't shoot anything, just stand still and listen. Righto, so Toro, I'm gonna get you to run with A's and Gyps at four and one. So you're gonna be their floater. Okay. Nap, nap you're gonna be mine and Sander. Sander, you can go two, I'll go three. Nap, you're gonna be our floater. So the floaters sort of hang in the mid and shoot ads. And you're going to fill in on any plates if you need to, all right? So you'll nap, you'll be the replacement for two and three. Toro, you're the replacement for one and four. And we're going to keep it that way for the boss that phase as well. So what's going to happen? So Sander's going to kill his knight on plate two there. And that's going to start the mechanic. Someone's going to, as soon as Santa jumps onto his plate, someone's going to get made taken. That taken person has to go to Santa's plate. And then Santa's going to call out where he needs to go. So he'll either be going to plate one, plate four, or plate three. Now in D1, you had to make your way around like a circle, um, or like a half sort of circle to all plates. But this one, you'll either go diagonally to a plate, or you'll go um, straight across. So basically, you'll go from, say, like plate two to plate three, or plate two to plate four, as an example. Uh, or you go two to one, and you'll sort of run around in like a sort of a half banana sort of shape. Um, but that's how it work, right? You go all the way up. There's a little buff at the end that's look like a star. So if you're taken, you can still see this as well. And you can see what plate you have to go to. But there's plates in the center that, that spawn. You've got to go on the plates. You don't run on the ground. You've got to jump in the air on those plates. So you've got to be quick and you've got to be okay at jumping. So if you're a shit jumper, this is where it starts to get a little bit hard because you know, you, you really want to have... Um, running in D1 on this one? Yeah, running in D1 was heaps harder. It was heaps harder. So we've got to do that three times, all right? We do that three times. Get it? When... Sorry, so I'll let you continue. Sorry. Yeah, so once we've done it three times, so each three, each time it might be someone different, right? And it'll be different plate structure and everything like that. So we do it three times. The third time we have to grab the buff and we slam it on one of the sisters, all right? Once we slam it on the sisters, we'll stand on the opposite pillar uh on the opposite little platform there so you jump up slam the sister and then just stand back together and we dps the shit out of it like it's literally probably the simplest raid mechanic once you understand the plates and the running concept it's freaking simple so and you've just the only thing you've got to remember is there's ads that spawn and the snipers right so we'll call snipers out you got to shoot opposite your plate so for you santa you'll shoot opposite me for me i'll shoot santa the one that spawns behind him the, sn the snipers will uh will hurt heaps the person that's taken don't jump onto the plates too early and just hang out on the plate because the sisters are firing at you so you'll actually kill the person on the plate as well if you're standing out there because all the heat goes to you they want to kill you you're the person that's in the dimension that they want to kill so make sure that you don't jump up too early and as soon as you get up there, you just want to move. We've got a minute 30, I think it is, minute 30, I think, minute 45, something like that, to, to get three phases done and get damage in. So the faster we can run, the more DPS we get. And we'll just fire rockets at her. So we need a well, and we get a divinity on her straight away, and first shot of Galahorn, and then the rest of the just fire off our uh, our hotheads, and it's game over, Red Rover. 
Cool. So the biggest thing that you guys need to understand is the plates. So Nap, where the knight is, what plate is it? What plate is directly in the diagonal? Other side three. No, 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 that's, that's left to right. So if you were standing at plate two, looking up diagonally to the left, what plate is it? Oh, that's four. Hey, my man. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, I sand his plates first. If I can get up there. Come on, buddy. Really? I'm taken. Where are you, you going to? going to plate four. Plate four? So, uh, Tori, jump on plate four, bro. Snipers. Something long range. Right, everyone off, off plates. Plate. Off plates. Oh. Right, who's, who's got the knight? Uh, plate four. Plate four. Cool. Tori, jump on for her. Jump on for her. I'm not on. Where's she going? Plate two. Plate two. Plate two. I'm on. Snipers, guys, snipers. Got you. Are you killing us? I got it. Got it. Jump off. Everyone jump off plates. Plate two is taking your weapon. Right, one plate or four. One. Plate, plate one. one. Tori, jump on plate one. Did you say four to one? Nah, it's no. plate one. one. Where are we going to, dupes? Three. Play three, I'm jumping on now for you, snipers guys. Everyone get ready for DPS, start making if you're not on a plate. Oh, if you're not on a plate, shit. I jumped over, coming back. Yeah, someone jumped over. It's alright. We're probably gonna we're gonna probably have a wipe here, but that's okay. It's a good practice room. And oh no, someone jumped off again. Else nah, someone on? jumped on. Nap jumped on. You can't jump on the plates, Nap. If you're on the wrong plate, you burn everybody. It's all good. It's all white. It's fine. It gives me a chance to change the light out. Just put Trinity Ghoul on, bro. I'm using Galley, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, basically that's the same. It basically what happens there, but Nat, that was actually good that you jumped on the plate at the end there. So if you if someone jumps on the wrong plate, you burn every plate. So anyone that's on the plate is going to get killed. So you, you can't just freely jump on plates, right? So you got to jump on the right ones. If you're on a plate, don't get off it until they grab the buff. But we were too slow anyway, so we need to be quicker. Yeah, I couldn't get up on my plate. Right. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, up with the rocket. <laughs> Three. Uh. Three. Two. One. Let's go. I'm taking. Going to one. Three to one, three to one. All right, snipers, guys, are about to spawn. Watch out for them. Dips on plate one. Yeah, yeah. Go ace. Yep. Snipers. Off plate. Get off plates. Right, our next person's taken. taken. Right, it's plate two. three again. Plate three again. Right, out. nap. Uh, you're going to one again, three to one. Look out for the snipers, guys. Snipers are spawning now. I jump off. Uh, I'm plate thinking. two, plate two. Jump on that. Kill the knight and jump on the plate two for us. Nap. No, that's right. I'm here. It's going to plate one again. Plate one. Whoever's taken. Snipers, but everyone that's not on a plate, make your way to DPS. You're going for we're shooting, killing the left sister, so you jump right. on the right platform. And right, I slam it well. Yep, landing there. Right, rockets. Divinity, divinity, divinity. Oh, I've got to pick up this one. Oh, 
Easy dubs. Don't move after damage. Just stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Kill ads. Easy dubs. Well done. Alright, good shit. Jump out. Grab some ammo. Rinse and repeat. Plate threes first. Get ready. Three, two, one. I'm killing it. It's dead. I'm Going to plate one. So three to one. No, no, Toro. Three to one. Three first, then to one. Snipers, guys. I stand on three and then go. Yep. Go to one. Door. Yeah, you'll see the platforms. Yep. yep. Jump. Yep. Call out when you've got the buff. Yep. Jump off. Yep. Everyone off. He's got it. Plate three Going. again is where we're starting. Plate three again where we're starting. Going to plate two. Plate two's on. Snipers, please. Oh, I gotta reload. You're Who's down. taken? Hey, Gypsy is sweet. Um, Jump off. I'm taken. I'm taken. And it's plate four. one or four. Plate four. I'm on my way. Where am I going? Actually, you are going to plate three. Plate, plate three. Two. Nap. Jump on my plate. Nap, please. Just stay on the plate nap. Everyone else get ready for damage. I do not have well. Alright, damage guys. Make your way to damage. Killer. Alright, GG's. Done. GG's! Jeez. No touch at will situation in normal, Tim? Yeah, I didn't get it either. Trinity Guild does slap. You're at 100%. <clears throat> uh, Smith of Marion or whatever? Smite of Marion, yeah. yeah. Well done. See what I mean? How easy that is? <laughs> it, it's not a hard mechanic, that. Like, really, like... And the good thing is, is it's a prelude to the boss. So boss is pretty much the same with it. A couple of additional, uh, couple of additional things. Um, yeah. All right, I'm gonna run a well for the boss, and I'm gonna run, I'm, I'm gonna run Finney's. So I got a slick draw on, on the on the sniper to fancy <laughs> Yasmin. So you know, decreasing. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> how fucking how useless of a perk is it? It is dead set the most un. It makes no sense. Yeah. I, I, when I first read it, I was like, "Is that a like? Is it a? It's got to be a mistype, surely." And I was like, "No, no, I think they're genuine. Like, I think they actually think that, like, that is like legitimate. Like, what they think is a good idea of a good role. Like, I like the sniper with uh, reduced target acquisition." <clears throat> That's the one. No, it's the, that's what he's got. Yeah, sl oh, sl oh, slick shot. Yeah. <laughs> slick shot. Yeah. Yeah, you got slick shot. Um, linear, li linear, linear is this time, guys. Linear is. What else? Um, I would. You, you just want something that's going to be able to add clear for you. Okay. Like, Should I keep divinity on? Do we have nights or anything long range or just can you use the sub? Got to get back to work if you need a six, let me know. Appreciate you, Jace. GG's. Keep you need something long range or short range? Um nah, there's no snipers in this one. You just want you want something that's going to be able to clap. Um you've got to have yellow bars that are gonna spawn. So I, I run an arbalist and a linear as a, as an option. But uh, if you if you're if you're if you're struggling to kill the yellow bar, you're probably better off putting on a sniper or a shotgun. Keep Arby, Arby should take out the yellow bar, right? Arby, yeah, two shots of Arby takes out the yellow bar. <clears throat> hey, Caleb, what's good, bro? Zeke, Naps, I asked him a question. What did you ask, Nap? Sorry? Should I, take, should I keep Divinity on or take it off? Um, Take it off, bro. We'll take it. We'll do it without Divinity first. You actually do more damage without Divinity. But Divinity is like a safe gate. If we if we struggle, we'll, we'll, chuck, we'll chuck it back on. What super should I run? Oh, uh, you're a hunter? Yep. 
Um, you could pro probably run a Goldie. It's for the deeps. For the deeps. The hell? What's the best? What's the best now? For Celestial or Blade Bros? Celestial, bro. still, still Celestial, bro. Not many clouds in the sky, and it's raining. Sounds like um, sounds like a fun fun day. It's unusual. I mean, usually we don't get that here. It's gonna be full of clouds to rain. Right, uh, let's see what have we got here. Oh, I've still got a full socket here too. That's cool. Sorry, let me just work this out. <coughs> well of ordinance, want of wisdom, a mental charge. That should do. <coughs> right, we're good. I can do finis for us on the things for some heavy as well. Um, righto, so plates don't change. Plates are the same. The mechanic of running is pretty much the same. The only difference is, is every plate's going to get a knight, and then Oryx is going to move to a plate and slam the plate. That is the plate we start at. And then basically the same thing. So someone randomly gets selected again. They go down to that plate, make their way, grab the buff. We've got to do that three times. Same mechanic. The big difference here is <clears throat> to tell what plates next is you've got to look on top of the plates and they're glowing, right? So wherever the glowing plates move to is where we start from and we move to wherever the star is. The taken person's got to run and the third person has to grab the buff. Right? You actually have to grab the buff this time. You actually have to stand there and press X on it. And then there's going to be a knight in the center here that you're going to come down to and you're going to reclaim the buff from him and then you're going to kill it right that's that's that part done right the biggest part of this here is that's going to struggle is the same teams are going to work together so nap me and santa are going to work together and toro a's and gyps will work together you guys that are floaters really do have a very very important role here it's not just ad clear and you really got to be on the ball so you need to know the number of the plates so if it's two nap that's santa's plate if it's three it's my plate if we say nap jump onto three you got to jump on three so we say nap watch three then you just like stay near three like you don't jump on the plate right <clears throat> but basically there's going to be an ogre spawn in each of these pools so they pretty much there's a mirror image so there's one here and there's one here and then on the opposite sides the same right so it's four pools four four ogres will spawn we kill the ogres the once the ogres die there is going to be bomb uh, bomb eaters that spawn so there's going to be a bomb eater that spawns back here and a bomb eater that spawns on this side here they though those there that the ogres got to die straight away and those bomb eaters need to die and the big thing here is is if say for an example i get taken right toro and nap you guys have to focus like so let's say for an example toro you're on uh not toro sorry santa's on a plate santa's on a plate and i and i get taken and i'm going down to the other end of the map that means there's really only nap here and santa to make sure both the bomb eaters get killed and both the uh, ogres get killed so you really need to focus on those bomb eaters. Don't assume that they're dead. Go hunting for them. Then they sometimes have a the delayed spawn. They'll make their way as an opposite. So Santa's side here or plate twos will make his way over to my bomb and eat my bomb. If they eat my bomb, it just means we're going to be doing less damage. Once the person slams the um, knight, I'll say to everyone, make your way to the bomb. Now, nap. And Toro, if one of uh, one of our plate, the plate holders are the ones that's taken, you guys have to substitute them and go to their bombs. The bomb has a ring around it. So basically you're going to stand away sort of about this far from it. 
you'll see there's a clear ring. Don't go into it. It's a taken ball, basically, with a ring around it. Don't go into the ball. There's going to be a text at the bottom left hand of the screen. I'll say to you, go in, but there'll be a text on the left hand side of the screen. I'll say, go, everyone, go in, into your bombs. You got to go in, stand in the bomb until your name comes up in the bottom left hand corner, and then run as fast as you can to get into this aura over here that they were holding, and we're going to do DPS on the boss. All four bombs will explode. We do our DPS, rinse and repeat. We should be able to two phase it. If not, it's not the big end of the world. We'll just do three phases. Now, after every damage phase, one of two things is going to happen. You'll either get bombs or you'll get shade. With the bombs, plate holders need to run circles around their plates like so. So just literally run in big circles around your plate. Otherwise, you can't stop and you don't want to run at anyone. If you are a swapper or a switcher or a floater, whatever you want to call them, run the circles around in this little spot just here like this. <clears throat> okay? If you stop moving, the bombs will blow you up. If you run into someone, they're going to blow up that person. So we just got to keep moving. If it's the shade, a, a taken orb will spawn at the other end there. We'll get sucked into it one by one, and we've just got to call, kill a shade of Oryx, and then it's rinse and repeat from there. Cool. Final stand. Final stand. Uh, who wants to nominate themselves to be Bomb Watcher with me? I can. Okay. We'll detonate. We'll just detonate the one just in case one of us gets taken. Um, so I'll do I'll do it, uh, but if I get taken, you'll do it, just so you're a backup, okay? So yep. basically we're gonna detonate, there's two ogres, we're gonna focus fire the right, this the right hand one just here first, that plate one, and then you're gonna drop a well right about where I'm standing just here, all right? And the aura person's gonna stand here, and Oryx is gonna spawn at 12 o'clock. We're gonna kill this other ogre, the bomb, I'm gonna detonate the bomb by standing in it, and then you're gonna DPS the shit out of Oryx and it's all over. Cool. If you don't, if like you did, if bomb, is it? huh? It's like a fifth bomb, is it? That spawns. Nah, nah, nah. It's the bomb to stop him from wiping us. There's a wipe mechanic if you don't blow it up. Yeah, right. So, righto. In D1? Must have been, I guess. Uh no, wasn't in D1. I don't remember it in D1. So I don't remember it. Yeah. yeah. Righto, everyone Gucci, let's give it a crack. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So bomb eaters, just remember bomb eaters, yeah. Yep. Righto. And they come after the um. The, after the ogres. The uh, ogres, yeah. This is the final boss, Scotty. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I love the music on this. <laughs> I don't have the music turned on. <laughs> Got my headset. Oh, yeah. Righto. Oryx is going to move. He's going one or two. Yep, he's going to play one or two. Alright, he's going to play two. So Oryx doesn't move now. Alright, Sandy's going to jump on. Someone's going to get made taken. Right now it's me, Nap. You gotta go to watch my plate. Watch my plate. Four. Four. Kill my ogre. Um, Nap, you gotta kill my ogre. It's spawning now. Everyone off the plate. My ogre needs to die. I'm taken. Good shit. Bomb eater. Ah shit. Where You're going to plate three. Die. Plate three. It's alright, someone else will get made taken. Got him, I got him, I got him. One bomb meters down. We're going to three, whoever's taken. Okay. And they're going they're going to three and you're going to two. I get everyone off the plates. I'm taken. Right, it's plate two. Plate two. Toro, you gotta watch Gypsy's plate. Don't get on it though. You're also gonna have to watch her bomb. Going to three. Going to three. Right, everyone, everyone get ready to go to their bombs. Nap, go to the middle. Toro, go to your bomb and stand next to it. I thought that was only the second. No, uh, this is the third. No, the second. Oh, no. yes, it's, it's the third, it's the third. Okay. 
Get near your bombs, guys. I'll tell you when to go into it. Get ready. Three, two, one. Go into your bombs. Stand there. Three, two, one. Damage, damage, damage. Everyone to the middle. DPS. Stop moving, whoever's moving. I'm only doing 49k, see, that's weird. Yeah, my phone went I'm right. doing 75k. I'm doing 34. 34, 34, 30. Stop freaking moving now. Jeez. Is that me? I'm getting. Yeah, yeah. It's a taken. Yeah. Alright. Oh. Rinse and repeat. We run around just in case the bombs. Hey, June, how you going? I wasn't moving out to be it's orb. Yeah, it's orb. Right. Eh? Onion. Come down this end and shoot, shoot. Don't die. You make any heavy seek? I didn't. I didn't get a chance to because I was taken while they were up. Yeah. I actually, truthfully, I forgot. I mean. Please. Nice. Behind us. Hmm, okay. Gonna kill him. Find us. Come on, we gotta keep killing it, guys, otherwise he's gonna wipe us. Wait. How do you not kill him? You shoot him. <laughs> I shotgunned him and I died from misadventure. Nah. <sighs> yeah. If you if you're getting if you're getting flinched, snap crouch, and just like punch the ads. But yeah, you 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 were, you were like keep moving sideways in front of my shots. That's all right. I keep on getting hit, man. I was like, what the hell is hitting me? But that's that's that was a mechanic, right? So that was one full phase. We just need to increase our damage. If if we keep struggling, I'll get someone to put divinity on divinity. You if everyone does damage, you're better off without divinity. But if if you're that's not doing damage. Yeah, and just remember, your firing line, you may not think your firing line's procking, but if you've got more than three buffs, it won't show you. It's just coming up with 65k every shot. Yeah, what are you, you'll read regret though, yeah? Yeah, I've got firing line, boss spec, and it usually does, you know, 90-ish. Nah, not here, it won't. 70 something's your max, with, without a debuff, so unless we've got a weakening grenade on it or something. Level, everything's showing Fif up 15, red. 15, 50. I'm, I'm 1567 and they're showing up red. Let me just have a look here, see if there's something I can... No, nah, that's near you, alright? You're over the light. I'm not though, for this part. I think this part didn't people say it was 1580. Oh, it could be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything can, doesn't it? Break a little bit. Yeah, I just fit well, the recommended light's 1550. Yeah, to enter. Each encounter it goes up, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, but I, uh, it could be 1580, I suppose. They said they said we we're capped at 1560 and day one we were 20, 20 under, so I highly doubt you're still 20 under here. 1570 now. Anything over 10, I think it shows up as red. Mm -hmm. Probably 10 under right now. Because day one we were 20 under light. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it needs more resilience. What's this resilience at? Didn't even look at that. Yeah, you got 27 resilience, you fucking goose. That's why you're dying. <laughs> you fucking... Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. And on your chest piece, chest piece, get rid of your linear fusion ruffers or zones and put on a concussive dampener or a double stack of thermoshock plating. 
So you go from 25, I think it's 25% for the first one, then 40% for the second one. Like, he's only tier 2, I didn't even look at that, Zach. But yes, that's why you're dying. What is it, resilience? Resilience, you need to get resilience to 100. Yep. Yeah, you, you still got, you've got a PvP loadout on. <laughs> I have a good resilience build yet, I'll have to work on that. Because it used to be trash, and then they haven't really done much last yeah. season or so. so. It's it's still I think it's still shit for P PvP. We good? Did I already rally? I must have. Big rip. Right, let's go. But yeah, that's that's the basic gist of it, right? This is pretty much what we did there. So recover the bombs, make sure everything dies. Clap cheeks. One or two. Again. Two. It's going to two. So, Nap, you want to be here, bro? Come here. Nap, you want to be standing here killing ads, bro? I'm getting ready to go. As soon as the ogres are down, you want to take out those um, the eaters, bomb eaters. Going to three. Going to three. Okay, I'm on. Who's taken? I am. Alright, look out for ogres, then the eaters. Ogres up now. Right, second, third, oh, yep, sweet, we're good. Next oh, ogre. Plate. I'm taken. Please watch out for my eaters at this end now. Who's got who's got the plate? Plate four. Plate, plate four. four. Eaters are up, watch out for them. Going to plate three. Alright, Nap, can you jump on plate three for me, bro? Eaters down, you're good. Both of them? Yep. Good shit. Well done. Alright, everyone off. Everyone off. Plate two uh, is blowing. I'm taken. Alright, oh plate, plate two, Toro. Plate two, and you're going to four. Two to four. Two to four. Oh, I killed. Gotcha. Righto. Everyone that's not on a plate, get ready for your bombs. Nap, just hang in the middle there again. Toro, you're going to go to the middle and reclaim the buff from the knight, and then kill it, and then we'll all come to you. I got it. Off yep. plates. Off plates. Get that knight. Buy your bomb. Everyone stand near your bomb. Ready, get ready. Everyone in. DPS, DPS, fly? DPS. Drop a well if you've got it. Stand right there. Yeah, Tori, don't move any further. Right, DPS. You got a weakening grenade to right at him. And also tether him as well. I got Goldie on. Hey. Right, DPS is done. Right, run around your plates. We'll run into your spots. Not too bad, Caleb. It's, See, heavy, bomb. I went down, got heavy. it's bombs. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. 
Yeah, don't worry about the heavy right now. Just run. And you can't run near people. Don't run near me, Nap. Don't run near me. You'll kill me. Kill me. Ah. Alright, that's it. Alright, we're done. Grab the ammo. All the knights should be dead, yeah. You got any heavy over there? Right. No, I, di I didn't get a chance to finish anything because I got taken again. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's going three or four. That three. Three. Right, they're jumping on. Going to four. I'm taken. Play two is taken. Going to four. Go and get your bomb eaters. Snap. No, they're spawning Got at the spawn it. points. Off plates. Off plates. Alright, I'm taking. Where are my guns are? Oh, bomb eater's getting a bomb. Now. Where do I go? I'm, uh, I'm taking. Where do one. I go? Eight one. Eight one. One bomb got eaten. Yep. No, don't kill it. Oh. End of four. Uh, yeah. Four. My bad. Right. I deliberately wanted to do it. Oh, the other one is. <sighs> it's alright. It's gonna be a three phase. That's fine. <coughs> I'm taken. It's going to. One. Someone's on the wrong plate. Get off your plates. It's one or four. One. <coughs> <coughs> going to three. Three. I'm jumping on now. Nap, you don't have to worry about his bomb because he got eaten. Everyone that's not on a plate, report to the uh, middle. Everyone that needs a bomb, got it. Go to your bombs. Get ready to go into your bombs. Three to go. Damage. Well, if you've got it, I've got it. Got well yet? Right. DPS. Oh no! Sorry, I moved. I don't run around just in case it's bombs again. Shade. Shade. So this time you gotta kill the shade. Straight away. We didn't kill it again? Or did oh. we kill it? We did? How'd I die? I guess. I don't. Rinse and repeat. <coughs> it was by misadventure. I don't know. That's what got me last time. Thanks for the help with one of the grenade launchers. Not a problem, Derek. It's a great grenade launcher, bro. It's amazingly good. That one. It's probably one of the best grenade launchers. Legend grenade launchers. Alright, knights are up. Right out. One or two. All right, if you can, don't use heavy. Don't use heavy here for this next damage part because we've pretty much got him dead. I had no heavy ammo, so I can't do that. Yeah, I've got nothing at all. 
Two to three. Two to three. And I'm on three. Two, two, Ace, two, two first. My ogres are spawning. Need help with these. Bomb meters are up. Yep, I'm getting this I one. I'm taken. I'm taken. I'm getting the bomb meter now. My night, my night eater still up. Where is it? It's running door jaws. Yep, I see it. Santa's taken. We're good. Where's the Bomb eater again. Did you kill it? Good shit, Nap. Uh, I got it, I got it. No, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't. No, don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it. Oh, sorry, it's fine. It's my bad, my bad, my bad. Sorry. Plate one, I'm going to plate three. Plate three? Yeah, I'm, I'm jumping on. I'm on, I'm on. No, no it's not. What's that, that you call plate two, bro? It's plate two. Oh. Jump on plate two, quick. Nap, jump on plate two. Oh, yeah. I'll come and get you. Toro, can you get my res? No, I'm not gonna res, bro. I can in a minute. I got it, off plates. Get off plates, go to your bombs. Bombs, please. Bombs, Nap, you need to go to mine. Nap, you need to go to mine. Yep, yep, Just wait. Plate one again. Oh, sorry, no, it's not bombs yet. My bad, it's one more. Okay, uh, sorry. Coming to plate four. One plate to four. four. Toro, jump on four. I'm uh, coming. Get on the bombs, get on the bombs, get on the bombs. Can't want the plates. Don't matter, you're gonna have to get on the bombs. Get to the middle. Right. Get to the middle, get to the middle. Go, go, go. It's a wipe. I've got it, go. I don't know. Yeah. Reclaim it quickly. No. Yep. <laughs> Hundred percent. I saw you said three first. That's why I ran towards. No, he said it's two. Nap, get on it. No, he said three. Nap, get on it. I said three, yeah. But it and then three. nap, get on it. That's how I knew that he meant two once I died. It's all right. If we got that, we wouldn't have got to that point if we got that. If we didn't lose that bomb. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not kidding. Like you kill the ogres, and then it's straight into like one. Someone has to make sure that those are those uh, guys. There's two of them, two naps. So you said you've got it, but then there was another one running straight towards it. Um, these finnies are super hard to get to, like because they 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 just yeah. people are melting them. But I'm trying. Hey, Pascal. Right there on two coming. I got the one on two, but there's one over here on two on three. What'd you say? He cross shooting the um, knights that come out after the ogres. Yeah. I'm using my super on them. <clears throat> Hammers are amazing you, for it. What you, yeah. A's and Gyps, what are you guys using on the ogres? Arby. Um, my, um, Arblist. Arby, okay. Right, everyone good? Let's go. I don't understand why I... Oh, you know why? I'm just a fucking dickhead. I've got rocket launcher reserves on. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. I'm like, why am I not getting my extra bullets? It's alright, we got it. As I said, we nearly we nearly got that then. It was just unfortunate that we made a wrong call out. But that's why we've got to be quick, because the bombs the bombs come up early otherwise. Knights are here. Alright, knights down on my end. One or two? One. Where you going? One. Play two is taken. Three. Three. Play two is taken. So, right. kill the ogres. Second ogre spawning nap. Go start with the bomb eaters nap. Get off. Alright, I'm gonna kill this bomb eater just here. Oh. Now it died. Other bomb eater's here. Torn between dimensions. What does that mean? Actually, you can't finish the bomb eaters. Uh, four. Wait, four. Come to me now. Come. And you go on to plate two. So when you stand yeah. on here, you look up and you'll see platform um, spawn. Jump along them. Okay. I 
do next. Okay. I'm taking. Righto, one. it's plate one. Righto, Nap, you need to go to my bomb and get ready to watch it. One to two. Yep. Jump on, Santa. Yep, I'm on. Righto, everyone get to their bombs. Everyone to the middle that's not got a bomb. No, you went on to it early, Nap. Sorry, it's white. You can't, you can't go. Remember, you can't go near the bomb, bro. You, you went on top of the bomb already, bro. You got to stand near it, outside of the ring. Remember? Yeah. Because as soon as you go near it, it activates the bomb. You can't even go down and get ammo. <laughs> I learned the hard way. <laughs> I forgot and went and got ammo. <laughs> it's like, motherfucker. Yeah, as soon as you touch your bomb, it's going to detonate and kill everybody. It's so alright, now I get to at least get my extra linear fusion rifle ammo. Hold up. I know what I'm going to change now. I'm going to do this because, so. Uh, why not? It's easier to shoot him, Toro, too, when he's fully out of the ground. Oh, the Ogres? Yeah. It's, just yeah. do one to two shot when he's fully out of the ground. I'll wait till he's fully out. Did you say? It's easier, yeah. Okay. So yeah, when he's coming out, don't don't worry about him. Just wait till he comes out and then shoot him. Is that right? You can if you want. It's just easy if he's all the way out. Yeah, okay. You can weaken him as he's coming out. I feel like a sniper would be better. We got rocket launcher yeah, scav what? rocket launcher scavenger on, mate. I am I am fucking winning at life right now. Are we good? <laughs> right. It's been a long week. Let's go. Everyone good? Yep. Yep, I'm ready. So yeah, finnies don't work. Learn some. One or two. One. Play two is three. taken. Going to three. I've got both of the bomb eaters already. It's taken work. Play two. Two. Two to four. Two to four. Good shit, Nap. Off plate. Plate three. Plate two is taken. Going to plate two. So Nap, you need to jump on plate two for us, bro. Yep. Good shit. Now. You're also taking the bomb after this of plate two, right? So just stand sort of in front of it a little bit. Right, everyone right, get I'll make their way to the bombs. Don't go into them yet. Into your bombs, stand there. 
Wait for your name to pop up. Nap, nap, go in. Nap, go nap. out. Nap, nap's gonna nap, die. Nap, 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 You're yeah, gonna yeah. die, don't worry about it. You're both gonna die. <sighs> so we only got three bombs detonated again, so we get an extra bomb on the next damage phase. Shite damage, look at that damage, whoa. How many deaths is that? Just two. Don't worry about reasons yet, don't res yet, don't res yet, bombs. Yeet. Just an extra person to run around and an extra risk of death. Oh, I have a bomb here. Yeah, just keep running. I almost ran through it, I forgot oh. it. Bombs are done. Right, get their reses. No, I don't, Aaron. It's been a, been a while since I done the uh, the D uh, the D one one. Two or four? Uh, three or four? Sorry. It's not two. Oh. That's three or four. It's three. Oh, yeah, he's So Nap and Santa, you can detonate both those bombs, so when we get to the damage phase we need to get an extra person there to detonate it. Uh -oh. I'm taken. Uh, it's going to two. Three to two. I'm on. Get off the plates. And I'm torn. Oh, sorry, Seek, but both bomb meters are down. Yeah, sweet. Plate one, I have. Plate one, plate one or two? One. Uh, one going to four. You need me to jump on, Dips? Yeah, yes. Sorry. I'm taken. Starting at plates one. one or four. Plate one going to plate two. One to two. I'm on. Uh, Toro, you're gonna have to take my bomb. Your bomb? Yeah. Oh, someone no. else. Okay. Oh, what? Yeah. Hey. Someone jumped on. Right. So me and Nap have to take my bomb? Nah, they're in the same spot, so you should be good. Alright, okay. got it. Okay. Oh. Alright, everyone get ready for their bombs. Get ready, now, go in, go in, go in, go in. Alright, make your way once your name pops up. Damage. You're not in the aura, bro, I swear. Sorry. gonna be a three phase but if you want to conserve some heavy do so it's up to you it's gonna be a three phase regardless yeah run around just in case it's bombs Shade. If he moves all the way back, it's bombs. If he's at the front, it's shade. I'm in. You get a res now. Tori, you get a res? Yeah. Okay. I'm in too. Oh, you bitch, I missed him.
One more headshot and he should be dead. He's down. Oh, heavy, yeah, he always drops me fucking heavy. It's so annoying. Alright, uh, rinse and repeat, guys. I think the only thing I'm confused about is the bombs. Yeah, you can't go inside them. And if you're not a plate holder, you don't have to go near them. Alright, and then once you've activated the bomb by your name coming up in the bottom left hand corner, you gotta get back to the protective light in the middle, otherwise you're dead, like you just did then. You gotta be yeah, standing you inside the aura, otherwise you die. One or two. That's right, we Maybe got this. I'm taken. Right, I nap. Jump on my plate. Jump on now. Don't forget the ogres, bomb eaters. Tori, you might have to help the guys out with the bomb eaters, maybe. Jump off the plates. Plate two is taken. I'm killing the bomb eaters now. Bomb eaters in the middle. I got it. Four, four. Going to one. Four to one. Good call outs. Bomb eaters are down now. Yep. I got it. Off plates. I'm taking again. It's one or four. One. Play one. I'm on my way. Where am I going? Going to two. Two. Right, Sand to jump on. On. Right, hey, Tori, can you go to my plate? Uh, my, my bomb, bro, for me? Which one's yours? Three. Three? Gotcha. Right, hey, everyone at the bombs. Everyone else to the middle for that DPS. Three off plates. Alright, kill the knight. Get ready, get ready to go in. Not nap town should be on me. Go in, go in, go in. Ready, right, everyone to me, everyone to me. DPS, DPS, DPS. DPS. Right next to you guys. Anyone got a res? I'm literally right, right next to you. No, I don't. Uh, I have no res either. It's alright, done. Alright, focus fire on the ogres, please, guys. Right hand one first. Get the left one. Drop your well down. Age, you're gonna have to grab the bomb. Detonate it now. The left, the right hand one now. Right one. Yep. Get ready for DPS, guys. Detonate it straight away. Yep, done. DPS, guys. DPS. Detonate left. No, no, no. Come back to us, otherwise you'll die. Okay, so that's that one. Yep. DPS, DPS. Alright, someone go and detonate the other bomb for us. Pick up A's along the way if you've got a res. Well, in a minute. DPS, no. DPS. DPS, okay. DPS. Uh. It was like faded. That got us. <sighs> right on the heavy down on the deep flow. Flow was dead. I was dead for that one my, phase that I was on. That was my fault in that phase, because of the bombs. No, 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 everyone. When I say when I say go in, everyone has to go in, and you, as soon as your names, as soon as the names start populating at the bottom, you need to run. And you've literally got to get there as soon as possible. But it's all right, we got it done. It's nearly done. Hey, we're good. What's your favorite to me? I was dead that whole second phase there, so. Let's get, you get good mods on, bro. And fucking can't, can't even blow. Like, fucking cool. imagine not even being able to blow up a bomb without killing yourself. I was trying to get in that bomb, man. <laughs> so I, I knew he was confused, so I was trying to make him, you, you do it for him, so he didn't have to worry about no, no, it. No, no, before that, the other time when we both died. Yeah, I just didn't quite make it in. Oh, no. <laughs> I saw that dude. Zing right by his head. Right, are we good? Oh, 
Um, Dave, I like SMGs for ad clear, bro, but honestly, there's a lot of mixture. A lot of mixture of ad uh, things, but I'd say a good linear, a good rocket, um, good fusion rifle, a good AR, a good SMG, and you should be pretty Gucci. One going right, to four. Take one four. going to four. One going to four, Nap. Plate one going to plate four, Nap. Righto, bomb eaters are up. I seen him somewhere. There he is. His first one dead. Mine's right here. Get a finny on it. Nah, I can't finny them. They won't finny. Oh, that's right. uh, I'm I'll taking. Play. Where am I going? You're going to play one or four? One, one again. Where's he going? Two. One to two. Good call outs. Okay. Oh. Solid call outs. Let's go. Three going to plate two, three to two. On. Start making your way to the bombs. Go down and slab, grab it. You gotta grab it, nap. Grab it. Got it, I got it, I got it. Get off the plates, stand near your bombs. Go. Nap, you gotta go and slam him, bro. Otherwise, you're gonna kill us all. Slam where? Slam, slam where? the knight, bro. You gotta slam the knight. Get... Right here. Yep. Kill the knight straight away. You gotta hold X to button on him. Yeah. Reclaim the buff. Everyone into the bombs. Two. Let's go. Everyone in. Nah, too slow, man. Way too slow. Don't don't revive to wipe. No. Nap was moving back and forth so the buff the buff kept going over on over on. Uh. You gotta stand still with that buff to the to the side the damage is on. I'm doing forty three K hit, I don't get it. I'm doing seventy. No so well. Yeah, no well. But still he's not. Oh, that's fucking shit. <coughs> How many died then? Me, you, and I think that's it. I still have a token. I still have a token. Who else has got a token? I do. I mean, boss, he's almost that's dead. <laughs> he's almost dead. One more headshot, he should be dead. Damn it, I missed. I got him. Don't spray, don't spray all our rifles at him, linears. Because you make him disappear. You gotta hit him with a linear in the head. Alright. Let's go. <coughs> Tidy it up and we're good. <coughs> Still a three phase though, which is not ideal. Three going to what the hell? Oh, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> Fuck, my plate was glowing. I'm having it. a long. That's a long week. <laughs> Maybe next week take a little easier. Nah, you don't know me too. You know, you don't know me well enough. Two to four. Uh, Two to I'm four. four. Tori, gotta jump on her plate. Tori, jump on four, bro. So I was taking down one of the Eggers. You can take him down from the plates, bro. Yeah, I know. I didn't realize. Off plates. Righto, bomb meters are up. Watch out for him. Take it. I'm taking. I'm taking. It's alright, I'm killing the bomb meter. Down. Righto, it's plate two. Santa, plate two. Get on. Nap, you're going to play two. Two, to four. two 
Two to four. Two to four. Yep. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Jump up. Oh, I'm taking off plate. Plate three. Going to two. Toro, you've got Aza's bomb. Oh, right, uh, Nap, go to the middle for DPS. Everyone go to their bombs and stand near them. Get ready to go in. Ace, come this way a little bit with the thing. Yep. Everyone into the bombs. Righto, DPS, DPS, DPS. GG's, right, run around just in case there's bombs. Assault ammo, how to get heavy ammo. No, no, don't worry about the ammo, bro. Run. No, don't run around with me, bro, you'll kill me. It's bombs. It's bombs, run away, run around in the center, bro. You get the heavy after after this, because if you get blown up, it's just a waste of a life. Oh. You stopped. I watched you I stop. Done. Anyone got a revive for nap? I do. Yeah, I got him, you gonna grab him, Santa? Yeah, I got him. One or two. It is not. Oh, yeah, wait. Give me one. Where are we going? <clears throat> Starting at one. Right. Two. I'm one taking. to two. Alright, I'm on. Oh, you guys are coming up. Righto, bomb meters. My bomb meter's dead. So is mine. I'm taken, play two is taken. Plate four. About plate four, watch the bomb. It's a bit far out this time. Oh yeah, I got it. I'm over. Going Wait. to two. Two, nap, jump on plate two, bro. Oh, you run in your days. I know, there's a brick sitting in there for me as well. Got it, off plates. Get off plates. I'm taken. Right now, it's plate, plate two. two. Sand is on. Going to plate three. <laughs> two to three. Come on. Sorry, yeah, gonna take Ace's bomb again. Sorry, yeah, take Ace's bomb. Nap, go to the middle. Get ready for deeps. <coughs> Off plate. Righto, near the bombs. Nap, nap. No, 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 you're standing in the bomb, nap. Did he stand in the bomb? Yeah, but it didn't detonate. Let's go in, 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 in. Alright, let's go. The bombs. Detonate. Interesting. Right, as soon as we're done here, I'm gonna drop a well for you guys, and we gotta focus fire those or those ogres for me straight away here. Maybe. Focus fire the ogres, right one first, then the left one. Left one for us. Oh shit, Aza didn't detonate it. 
It's alright, I'll get it. DPS the boss, DPS the boss. Not open. Get him. I have a SMG bullets. Keep going. GG's. GG's. Oh, oh my god, I'm sick of this damn hand cannon. What are you, how are you getting the extra? Oh, actually, you another red thing. Yeah, that. Mate, you want that hand cannon? You want that hand cannon with incandescent and recrafted. incandescent and explosive light? Which hand cannon? Yeah. The one from the raid? Yeah. You lucky bitch. That's all I've been getting. That's all the weapons I've been getting. I'll trade ya. I keep getting the sniper. Hang on, Con Toro and Nap, congrats on your first clears, boys. GG. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you. Do you have your, um... Appreciate it. Do you have your Discord there? See? Mine? Yeah. Yeah? Why? Uh, something. Yeah, <laughs> you got touch of malice, didn't you? Of course he did. <laughs> you <laughs> bastard. <laughs> I, oh, shit. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Which means you're going to send me something. I was like, oh, fuck, of course you did. Of course you did. Nah, my man. I know, I know. Wait, 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 wait. Nap, 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 I know you're probably going to think you struggled a little bit there, but you actually done pretty good, bro. Like, you picked up the jumping part really quickly. Just the bombs, bro. Right the bombs. The yeah, yeah. But the, 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 the good thing about the bombs is bombs is actually an easy mechanic. The jumping part and understanding your plates is probably the hardest part for people to grasp, bro. And you didn't struggle with that at all, so... It, it was, that's that's good like that's the hardest mechanic here to get a grip of and it's actually not hard but it's just people logically thinking like as I, as i said guys anyone in the chat agree or disagree i still think numbers by far are cleaner and easier to understand than left rights i know people are going to debate it but i only ever teach people very very rarely am i running with a stack team so when i'm teaching people one two three four is far easier to teach them than l1 or left one or back right or left right because it's just too wordy and if it goes to show you both toro and nap both picked that up probably as easy as anyone i've ever taught it to so you know it's 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 just in how you explain it to people but the reason i know numbers versus everything else is less comms easier to remember a number versus anything else and when you're in the heat of the moment and panicking left as much as you think left is easy to remember, it's too wordy and you sometimes overthink it and you just end up making the wrong call or whatever. You still get fuck up calls regardless, but one, two, three, four is a cleaner, crisper communication tool when shit hits the fan and you need to panic and there's comms everywhere, a quick and easy one to four is far easier than front left to back right because you're whole extra words that you don't need to use. As I said, there's no wrong and right way, whatever works for your teams, but it's always, people always go, oh, that's better, it's better, it's better. There's no fucking better way or right way or wrong way. I just like to say the way, the re there's a reason and always a method to my madness. My madness and my methods are my methods for a reason, and I pride myself in the way I teach people, and I like to think that I can equip people with the tools to go out and raid. Yes, granted that not everyone uses the one, two, three, four strat, but as I said, once they get a grip of the mechanic and how it works, they can go off and do it however the fuck they want. And that's the part of it that, that matters to me the most, is equipping people to go out and raid, and we can make more raiders and more confident raiders. I can tell you right now, Nap, when I first met Nap, there is no way that he would have been as confident to tackle that as what he was there. So it's just, it takes time, and you just progress, and you get better, and you get better, and you get better, and eventually you get there. But um, that is that is my method. But that is me for the day. Keep it simple. A, I'm a massive big believer of keeping comms clean. Right? The cleaner your comms are, as I said, I'm not running in a stacked team. I don't run a stacked team every day. I'm not someone who has the same six people I raid with. 
I raid with my community. I raid with a few individuals all the time. And that's mainly to keep, try and keep it as uniform and clean as possible when we're teaching these people. There's nothing worse than having a rough raid. And when it comes to comms, having clean comms that are calm and no panic, as soon as people start throwing commands and people start panicking and when panic happens, well, we all know what happens. So that is why I do the way I do. Um, whether you believe it's wrong or right, hey, as I said, there's a method to the madness. But uh, GG's fam, that is me for the day. It's 2.30 p.m. i going to go do the school run in a sec. But um, back tonight, 9.30 p.m., um, and we'll be doing a few more runs. Probably, probably, I'll say, I'm going to just go and say here and say probably one. These, these raids are not short raids at the time of teaching people. I think as time goes, they'll get quicker as people get more confident. Um, but we'll definitely be doing one. Um, we will definitely be doing one um, King's Fall. And uh, I'll probably start the night off with a, with a dungeon or two with uh, A's and Gyps just because we want to get our pinnacles done before reset. And then we'll probably smash out a King's Fall after that. We'll see where time is and stuff. So I'll see you guys then. 9.30 p.m. 100%. I'll try and get on a bit earlier so we can get these dungeons done beforehand. Appreciate the love and support you guys have been rocking out again. 153 reactions. 555 comments. So comments low, but reactions good. Only two shares, man. You guys really didn't like me today, but I uh, <laughs> appreciate the two people that shared it. And uh, I'll see you guys then. Stay groovy, stay safe. As always, appreciate you. Deuces. Yes, Chris, I am, bro. GG's.